Do we have it working now? Or is Twitch going to be mean to me today? Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. Hey, thanks for the heads up, man. Don't want to don't be Mr. Roboto over here. <laughs> no, no one enjoys watching that. <laughs> Casual, you're a lifesaver. How was your week, man? It's good to see you. Thumbs up to Casual. <laughs> you're the man, Jack. All right. Uh, where were we? God, it's been a hot freaking minute. Good God. Uh, okay. I before when I was uh, visiting my family, I kind of came up with a a little a little set of a set of objectives, you know, so that I could I could go straight into it, and I totally forgot all of them. But I'm pretty sure I was gonna try and train some of my spells now that we got got some cash, and I also needed to buy some uh, other elemental spells. Week was good. Got some amazing news. Visa was accepted. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Claps for you, man. That's awesome. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Are you, have you been singing it? Have you been drinking some maple syrup, getting ready, man? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. Where are we? I think we're in the... Oh, okay, we're in the eight plates. We were, oh, yeah, yeah. We were escorting her. That's what we were doing. <laughs> How was your week? Yeah, I've been super excited. No, no maple syrup yet. Okay. You know, it's hard to it's hard you know, it's hard to actually sit down and just, you know, drink some maple syrup, but if you're gonna go to Canada, man, you may have to do it. You may have to do it. <laughs> Although my my week was good. Uh, I visited uh, my parents. They have like a timeshare kind of gig. Um I may have to, maybe soon. Alright, if you do, let me know. <laughs> let me know how it goes. I don't Let's see if you can stomach it. See if you're a true Canadian yet. <laughs> but but yeah, so I went and uh, visited my parents with my girlfriend, and they they have like a timeshare gig. Oh, we're going to Plagia. Okay, they have like a timeshare gig in um, down in Florida, like near Orlando. Not in Orlando, but nearby. So I just hung out with them and the girlfriend, and uh, had a, had a couple low key days, and. Um, but the final day, but the final day, we did, uh, we did Disney World, <laughs> and our sole mission was to drink our way around the world. I don't, I don't know if you know about the American Disney World or not, but they have a world showcase that's like 12 different countries, and each of them serves an alcohol from their own country, you know? So we decided... We would have a... You have been many times. Yes, awesome. Well, then, you, you should understand our undertaking. We drank around the world. <laughs> we, we actually pulled it off. I didn't think we'd be able to do it. All right, so we just got to escort her to, uh, to Pelagiad. So we got a, got a, a low-key, hopefully low-key escort right now. I love Epcot, although their British fish and chips was very poor. I mean, I can see that, yeah. Especially coming from a local such as yourself. I, I had a Canadian beer for you now that, you know, now that you're officially going to Canada, brother. That's awesome, man. I'm glad your visa went through. It's always, it's always good to know, like with documents and stuff. Whew. <laughs> I bet hers enjoy it, but you can tell it's just like bird's eye frozen fish. Ah, you know, what are you going to do? Disney, the mouse is, he, he, he can be a little cheap sometimes. <laughs> All right, come on. I remember like the most stressful freaking thing I, when I went to uh, Norway at the beginning of the summer. I was so stressed out because my passport, you know, was supposed to come in like two days before the flight. So every day leading up to that, I was just freaking biting my nails, man. Yeah, it was it was a little it was a little too close. I do not recommend doing it <laughs> again. 
But, but I mean, the thing was, I mean, the trip was, it was like sprung on me. Um, because my friend, oh crap, okay. What? <laughs> was there like a mage or something hiding out that we missed? What the heck just happened? That was that was bullshit. <laughs> okay, all the way back here. Very nice. Marwin giving me Marwin giving me a warm welcome. All right, there we go. BRB. Okay. I'll try not to talk too much crap about you. My my lips are sealed. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's get Night Eye. Ooh. Ooh, tough love. Already a crash. I've been playing for 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're just getting it all out of the way. That's what it is. Loading. Bears, Plague Bear. Holy shite. No thank you, Plague Bear. Oh, hello. Alright. What do you want? To Pelagiad. Take take two. Take three. Um gonna put on the boots. Alright, there we go. Can't tell if you are a man or a woman. I'm not really sure. Who knows though? <clears throat> Good afternoon, Argonian. Do you too? <laughs> you like freaking hissed at me? What the hell? That's ah, the hissed. Get it, lol. I know. I hate myself too. <laughs> I'm not that funny. Beautiful day for a freaking run across the continent. You cannot recast the spell while it is still in effect. Well, excuse me. I'm really surprised I haven't killed a mage yet and gotten any, um... Gotten any, like, magic buffs or anything. Because I could really, really go for some. Right, let's just wait and get our stamina back. No sense on waste and health pots right now. Not quite yet. I also love that Marwin time is uh, in-game time. So I waited for an hour and I still have my boots on. <laughs> the boot spell lasts like 30 seconds, right? 30, 30, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, something like that. Alright, she's still with us. Thank you, Jesus. Don't want her running off on me. I'm pretty sure the last time I did this quest, she actually, this is on another character, she actually just glitched through the floor and disappeared. It was uh, pretty absurd. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure that there is a Nyx Hound up here. You know, now that we uh, discovered that last time, unless that was just bad RNG. Or you know what I bet it was? I think I know what killed us. Our mage friend right there. Probably is using AoE. And being a high elf, she probably one-shot us. Because <laughs> we are very susceptible. Yeah, there he is. Alright. Nyx Hound. Take two. Saving, saving his face. This will be the end you. <gasps> she killed us again! <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Why are we escorting this person? <laughs> Alright, you deal with it. You'll soon be nothing more than a bad Thank memory. you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. All day. Not dying. That's the mission. Uh, let's get a night eye on again. Seems to be coming through a little dark over there. Oop. 
Let's get firebite. Our suffering will be great. Okay, cool. I was about to say if he kills us again. Oh, also. Oop. I can see that y'all can't see my health bar. So, let me fix that. I'm just going to move this up. There we go. <laughs> now you can join in the, uh, you know, nail biting. All right, here we go. Exchanges that are, that are Marwin. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we just run this road. Just grab our Magicka back. A little Magicka never hurt nobody. I don't know, we kind of want athletics. Uh, we kind of want to boost our athletics so that we can always be ready to run away. You know, playing, uh, playing the good old mage. So I'm going to be hopping everywhere and just resting and getting fatigued back. Come on, friend. On the road again. Alright. So we drop her off. We head back to Balmora. We go for alteration spells. Or mysticism. Mysticism. So we try and find someone who sells mysticism. And then we use those mysticism spells to teleport around more efficiently. Because, damn, life is hard without divine and all seems to be intervention. Especially Mark and Recall, too. You know, that's pretty much a must-have. Alright, we're, we're getting there. We're right up close. Now, I'm pretty sure I've already helped this lady, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk. Well met. Well met. Greetings. Jewels. Oh, she don't care about him anymore. Oh yeah, we 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 already did this quest. The, the, the true love, true love. The uh the dark elf that stole her jewels and her heart. That poor woman. <laughs> hey, at least we found the other guy. What do we have over here? Looks like trouble. Oh, what's up, Jack? Welcome back. We are almost there, so you missed the very uneventful escort mission. <laughs> Although I found out what killed uh, what killed us, you know, right before. So, the the person I'm escorting shot the Nyx Hound with an AOE spell. And uh, it, it zero to 100, or 100 to zero to us immediately. <laughs> so although I am escorting this person, I'm pretty sure they don't really need my help. Hey. <laughs> hey, Destructo. Ooh, checking in on you from my vacation. Very nice. It's just that time of year, man. Well, thanks for stopping by, Destructo. I hope your vacation's going well. I don't, I, you know, I don't want to pull you away from the family or anything. Come on, come on, buddy. We're almost there. Are you go are you going anywhere fun? <laughs> I I get back and and Destructo goes. <laughs> Thank you. Got some downtime. Very nice, man. You've piqued my interest. Please share your thoughts. Ooh, let me see your notes, my friend. You have been very gracious to escort me to Plagiad. Uh, I've never met anyone with such uh, enthusiasm for my research. Take this copy of my notes. Okay, now we get to uh, give them to the evil woman. Yeah, we went to Branson for a family reunion. Cool, dude. Family reunions. Ooh, that's that's always an interesting time. I hope you know. <laughs> I hope I hope you have a a, a good family. <laughs> they can they can be entertaining, you know. Sometimes a, a little too entertaining. <laughs> At least with my dad's side. My mom's side's pretty good. 
All right, these are armors. I don't think anybody's gonna sell us a spell in here. Uh, let's let's go ahead and just check this person. All right, I am Mebestian Inse. Yes, Pelagiad, of course. Um, grief, Matze, Shine. All right, nothing we really want. We'll just get rid of our random assorted loot. It's my wife's side. It went well. There wasn't any alcohol, so everyone was well behaved. There it is. That, now the truth comes out. <laughs> See, that's that's why that's why my dad's family gets a little interesting sometimes. <laughs> Are, am I selling it? Okay, yeah, I'm just on the miscellaneous tab. Uh, there we go. See, man, I, I, I friend. want something, friend. Everyone, especially you. Okay. <laughs> Hey, well, that's good, you know. Because cause if you weren't good and it was your wife's family, dude, you'd be done. You, you know. <laughs> They'll get you for that one, man. Didn't sneak any in like it was a dry wedding. Okay. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. God, if the next one I go too dry. I may, I may have to pull a Destructo. I, I could hardly take it. <laughs> Do I really not have it? Oh, come on. Okay. This makes me sad. Alright, Sedanine's closer walk. So we're just going to walk to Sedanine and then take the Silt Strider because I don't want to walk all the way back to Balmora. Also, please, if, if I don't remember, someone remind me to buy Mysticism spells. <laughs> I got my sister's wedding on Saturday. Absolutely won't be dry. Hey, I, kn I know you and your whiskey casual. Yeah, flask full of whiskey. <laughs> drink to you, you know, drink one for me. Drink, drink to your sister's health. Um, We are going the wrong way. Hey, would you look at that? Actually, let me save and then rest because I see an enemy upon the horizon. All right, let's try this. Let's try this again. Cast that. And fire bite. I think we can I think we can take this guy. Or is he tame? Uh Hey, he didn't attack us. <laughs> Even better. Oh, it's a guar, not a wild guar. That's why. I jumped the gun. I tried to attack that pure little innocent animal. God, Peta's gonna be after me, guys. <laughs> I love me some whiskey, you and me both, man. Have you ever tried the uh, honey whiskey? I know that's that's really popular over here now. So I'm gonna pop in and see what this is. My girlfriend's all about the honey whiskey. When we went to go before we went to go visit my parents, we had to we had to stop at a liquor store and, and grab some uh, grab some Evan Williams honey. Oh. A crash. Good thing I just saved. Yeah, it wasn't the best because it was Jack Daniels, and I don't like Jack Daniels. Okay, okay. To be honest, of the honey whiskeys, because I've had all of them. Or, or I'm sorry, not all of them. I've had the main three. Um, They were... Uh, Jim Beam was my favorite. Evan Williams was probably second. And actually, you're right. Now that I think about it, Jack Daniels was probably last place. All right, let's uh let's see what's going on here. Did y'all? Oh, Jack. You know, I I don't want to tell you. I know you're a whiskey lover. Did you did you hear about the fire, my friend? Did you hear about the fire? Andrano ancestral tomb. Do do we try and get in a fight or do we go to Sedanine? <laughs> I just saved outside the door. Let's let's see. If, Let's let's test our abilities to this point. The fire. Oh yes, Jack. It was a sad day for us whiskey lovers. There was a fire at the Jim Beam storage facility. And we lost a lot, man. <laughs> I think they lost like thousands, thousands of, of Jim Beam barrels, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Alright, yeah, we can hold that. Oh, we can enchant these. Extravagant, expensive. 
I don't really want to carry those. I'm gonna save just because I saw a uh, so I saw a ghost. All right, let me see if let me see how this goes. Oh, okay, baby, we got this. All right, hey there. That went that went a thousand times better than I expected. Um, let me see if I can summon. Summon a minion here. There we go. Yeah, dude, it's sad, man. Um, I'm actually okay. I, I don't know what that blessing does. Oh, I see a bone walker. Hey, buddy, you want you want to take point on this one? <laughs> All right, let's uh open the door, run, get him in front of us. Oh, nope, the guy moved away. Hey, hey, go in front. <laughs> oh, of course he's the archer. Well, <laughs> I, 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 my, my grand master plan there was to uh, have the bone walker tank, but he was an archer, so oops. All right, let's, let's pop this ghost again. Foiled again. Haha, <laughs> right? Damn it. <laughs> Wrecked. God, the streamer is terrible. <laughs> oh, it's it's that good old retro AI, AI man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was like I was like, maybe I'll aggro him. And then, and then I'll just take up the rear. No. Garbage stream. Gosh. Okay, oop. Alright, uh... Doo -doo -doo. Take two, take two. Come on, buddy. Any moment now. That's not the spell. <laughs> they're, dude, they're gonna one-shot me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, I'm killing the ghost and I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll cut my losses. Oh, okay. I actually quick saved after. One more try. One more try. I think this can work. If I actually attach the spell and cast it. Okay. Step one. Shield, step two. Sanctuary, step three. And now if he kills us, I'm gonna cry. Alright, get in there, Bone Walker. What are you doing, man? Okay, this minion is useless. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. There we go. <laughs> I, always, I always forget that my armor, uh, because I'm a mage, is basically spells. Like I said, I'm usually a meathead when I play Morrowind. Got him! Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> but yeah, I'm usually a meathead in Morrowind, so I'm not used to this, like, uh, mage quite yet. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Getting better every stream. Oh, oh. There we go. Game day. Game day. It's just those damn archers, Destructo. That, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. That is a terrible weight ratio. Oh god, okay. We have friends. We have some more friends. No, thank you. Oh, that was close. Uh, one more, one more. Whew. Do I play mage much? No. <laughs> this is my first ever mage. A first pure mage. I've played, like, a spell sword you know, before. But never a uh, full, full-on mage. Alright, I actually probably... I mean, the smart move here is to leave and then take a rest. So... I'm gonna be smart. I know, I know, that's new for me. I... 
<laughs> don't don't be too afraid. All right, the door's right here, so. Oh, wrong door. The door's right here. Also, Destructo, I was I was telling Jack earlier. Uh, I, I think we talked early, you know, maybe a week or so ago about about Disney World, right? Maybe two weeks ago. It may have been two weeks ago. It was a pretty old stream. But my uh, oh yeah, we gotta we gotta re up. Gotta re up the. Uh, Okay, there we go. Two. Okay. Let's get the bone walker out. Oh. Alright. Take take two on this skeleton over here. Alright, well yeah, so I went to go visit my parents, but they have a timeshare that's not in Orlando, but it's nearby. And my girlfriend came with me. Oh, I thought that was it, dude. Oh shit, there's another bone walker. Okay, maybe it is it. I'll finish my story in one second. <laughs> help me, help me, help me. Thank you, sir. All right, anyways. <laughs> so I went to go visit my parents with my girlfriend and we went to Disney. Suspense, I know. <laughs> it was all my, ma it was my master plan. But we went to Disney for one day. And of course, you know, being adults, we chose to go to Epcot and do the drinking around the world challenge. And we actually did it. <laughs> we we each drank at every country on the world showcase in one day. Oh my god, dude, it was it was crazy. <laughs> it was very No, it was it was not cheap. Uh but we knew this trip was coming for a while, so we had uh, we had allotted we had allotted some of the uh, income for that. You get dude, yeah. We were blessed. I didn't think we could do it, <laughs> to be honest. I I was like, we'll probably tap out around like eight, because me and my brother, uh, I, th I think my brother did it. I'm sorry, not me, and my brother. My brother did it and only got through seven. So I was like, I was like, we just have to beat my brother. We just have to beat seven, and we did it. It was uh, eleven countries because there are twelve, but the last one doesn't sell alcohol. So, um, I am in combat. I don't know how though. Let's let's re up our defense. Okay. But yeah, it was 11, I'm pretty sure. Um, I should probably stop running down here. Because I need my fatigue. Let me put on Night Eye too. It's kind of dark. Dude, it was a worthy challenge. <laughs> I probably hadn't drank that much in one sitting since freaking... Uh, I, I played rugby in, in college. So, had to, had to rally. Remember the, remember the good old days. <laughs> Ooh, it's not even trapped. Let's go. I, I would have bet money this was trapped. Ooh, 30 for 60. What do we have? 8 for 50. 8 for 50. Okay, that's bet. That's that's good. 15 for 34. 18 44. Everything's worse, actually. It's, that's surprising. Uh, let's grab a save again. Do I still have Sanctuary on? I do. God, this thing is never ending. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Alright, let's put Night Eye back on. Oh, I hear something behind us. Or is it in the other room? I, it's something swinging at me. I don't, I don't know from where, though. Oh, don't don't freak me out like this, man. I'm too young. What do we have? Hound meat? Nah. 
Ghoul Heart. There we go. 150 smackers. Love it. So, Branson, you said, right? I can't, I can't remember where Branson is off the top of my head. I, I mean, he's got to be downstairs. There's no other place. Missouri? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, I should have guessed that. How much did the drinking challenge cost in total? It was probably 150 a person. Around there. It was not cheap. <laughs> but we're like, if we do one day, you know, one day at Disney, let's do the challenge. And then we can never have to do it again. <laughs> So we did it. Uh, let me make sure Sanctuary is on. I think Sanctuary is the only way that I can like get through this guy. Because I think it just ups my dodge percentage like 50%. Because that's all we really want to do. Because if I'm getting hit, it's, it's game over. Okay, there we go. Um. Ooh, 200 bucks. There we go. And an unarmored skill increase. We are over encumbered, though. I'm just gonna drop the greaves. I'm not a crazy fan. Bone mold. Ooh, four for our, that. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Take all of those. That's a creepy noise, man. Y'all hear that? <laughs> it's a creepy noise in the background. Hey, DJ. What's going on, man? I am well. I am very tired. I spent seven hours in the car today. Uh, driving back from Florida. But overall, I am well. I'm, I'm, I'm good, rested up. You know, ready, ready to kill some stuff. All right. The homilies bless Almalexia. Okay. You know what I think would be good? That I'm, I'm sure someone may have done it. But to take all these freaking books and then, you know, do like an ASMR or like a, I don't know, like a sleeping podcast, something, something to just drone you to sleep. Because I bet some of these books in Morrowind that are just freaking lore heavy. <laughs> Like, I love Elder Scrolls lore, but, I mean, if I just heard it relaxed in bed, I'd probably fall straight asleep. Seven-hour drive. I've never done so much in a row. Ooh. It's it's not all it's cut out to be. It's, it's about as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it could be worse, though. Also, it still says we're in combat, but... I think I just went down here. I hear something breathing. Oh, that's a foreboding sound. Onwards, Larry. How's Spain been the past week, man? Easy, easy, easy nights at the hotel, I hope? Or are you getting all these freaking summer tourists in? still hear that thing breathing. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> that is so discomforting. God, I hate it. <laughs> Pretty much the same? Okay. Not too bad. You know, as long as nothing bad happened. Routine keeps going on. Hey, it's it ain't it beautiful. Living the dream. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty common in America. It's a huge country. Yeah, it is. It is pretty common. I've, I'm trying to think of the longest I've done in one sitting. The longest I've... Mm, probably eight. Probably eight hours. I can't... It, you know, if you start pushing higher than eight hours, um, I check out pretty hard. Let me just make sure this is into that other room. Yeah, okay. Alright, guys. Well, it's cleared. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if that was like... I'm wondering if that was a glitch. Because there's no one here. <laughs> 17 
hours in one sitting? Destructo. J Dude, you're a machine. Oh my gosh. Did you at least, like, switch off people? Here I can only drive one hour in a row. Really? Is that in all of Spain or, or just the island that you're on? I, I guess in my head I kind of pictured Spain a little larger than that, but I may be wrong. Aunt, uncles, mom and dad took shifts. Okay. I was about to say, man. If, if you drove 17 hours yourself straight. Holy crap. I, I think you were crazy. Just on the island. Spain is bigger. Okay. I was like, I was like, man, I really, I really overestimated Spain if that was a one hour drive across. Good night, Sir Rat. Alright, well, you know. We got we got some loot for our silt stride back to Belmora. Pretty sweet. Acrobatics to twenty two. Gotta gotta get this acrobatics buffed up because as you have seen the best thing to do when you're a mage, summon something and then run away <laughs> and it just blast spells backwards. And, and don't let me forget mysticism. I need to buy some mysticism levels and spells when I'm in town. Alright, there's Silt Strider. So, so DJ, are you saying the longest you ever drove is one hour? Or like, like even when you were just on, you know, continental Europe? Wow, okay. Well, I guess transport there is a lot easier than in the States. That, that was like... When I was visiting Norway, I mean, we just took a train everywhere. You know, if we had to go long distance, we, we would never drive. We make a special trip just for you. Same I'm... low price. The public transport is poo? Really? In Spain? We make a special trip I... just for you. I, it Same may be bad, price. DJ. But I promise it's not worse than America. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, sell these items and then let's go and buy some spells. God, I love this music. Nostal Nostalgia Central. I, I was actually watching... Um, I was watching some old Fallout 3 videos the other day. And man, just hearing that soundtrack... Memory land, man. Music, music will take you back. Let's get rid of these shields. I mean, we can honestly just get rid of all of it. I'll put on the nice clothes. Mm, I may keep one longbow just in case, but I should never, I should never need it. I shouldn't have to need it. You know what? I need, I need to just sell it. There's, there's not really a point. If I can't cast a spell, I'm, I'm, I'm in pretty deep. Shard arrows. Okay. Ooh, those are expensive. Very nice. I'll keep that. I'll keep that just for, just for the laughs. There we go. Speak oh. traveler. <laughs> she liked, she liked the helmet so much she had to put it on. Every family has at least two cars minimum. In just the island, too. Wow. I'd say that's pretty common for America. Um, to have at least two cars minimum. Uh, you know, unless you're my dad. My dad, or I guess my parents together. They have four cars. What the heck do they need four cars for? <laughs> I'm like, what do you... Okay. Holy crap, right? I'm, I'm like, Dad, like, when are you going to drive these other two? <laughs> You're nearly a legend around here. Please, talk. Oh, thank you, Rainus. All right, here are the notes. Yeah, I have them. Here they are. Notes have been removed. Journal updated. Let's see if we can get some advancement. Restarting PC BRB. All right, see you back in a second, my man. Uh, duties. All right, we need more duties. Tashbi, Ashbel, and Margon has been practicing necromancy. <gasps> Guys. Find Tashbi and Margon and kill her. Oh, alright. There's a lot of infighting in this game, man. Tons of it. I 
Oh, uh, Destructo, if you're still out there. I think uh, I think I saw your brothers follow. <laughs> Bearded Meister, right? Speak freely, friend to friend. Uh, barter. You know, I should actually buy some Magicka while I'm here. One point, no. Let's let's get some actual good ones. Intelligence, personality, strength, willpower. Okay. Cheap too. Really, that's all we can buy. From from her? Come on. How much? We have a hundred and eighty magic. <laughs> uh, all right, maybe. Well, let's check her spells before we walk away. Feather is good. Fifth barrier. That's good. Calm. Let's take that. Spell absorption. Need that. Mm, I'll s chill on the resists for now. Cure common disease on someone else. Nah, we don't care about other people. Only you guys. <laughs> I, I'm really looking for all seams v intervention and divine intervention because those are the best ways to uh, fast travel in this game. Shock. Because if I cast Divine Intervention, it'll take me back to the la the the nearest Imperial Shrine. Ooh, Levitate. That'll be nice. Okay, 830 gold to play with. Hmm. Please, someone have it. It will make my life so easy. We may have to go to another Mage's Guild. Okay. What can I do for you? Strike, striking out on all fronts. Yeah, she's not gonna have it. All right. Let's try one more mages guild, just because I mean it'll really make our life easier if we can grab it early. Let's go to Eldrin. All right, you there? Do you sell spells? Nope. Okay. Bye. <laughs> dirt, 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 dirt everywhere, dirt. All right. A lot of mages. Nobody selling spells. <laughs> Is this a mage skill? What do you want? Wow. Wow, these, these, these people drive a freaking tough bargain out here. No one is selling spells. Maybe upstairs? I mean, if not, we'll just go straight to Margon. Straight to Margon and just get used to hoofing it. Alright, Hex. Ooh, invisibility. That could be nice. Let's take the invisibility. Nope. All right. To Margon we go. I don't want to spend all day shopping. All right. Actually, we didn't open this door. I think like the headmaster or something is back here. Oh, there's an enchanter. That's not what we're looking is for. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? All right. All right. Well, I, I tried to make it easier. <laughs> it didn't want to work. We'll go around the opposite way, at least, in case we missed someone. Oh, that's trapped. Let's not do that. Let's check the final room. Just grab it. Grab a heal, autosave. All right. Well, we tried. <laughs> Oh well. Okay, I think. Where has a boat? I'm pretty sure Margon we have to get to by boat. So, Cull. There's Narmok. Sedanine. Lagmar, Wolverine, Hall, Cull. I think Margon is around here somewhere. Let me double check myself. 
I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to commit. Okay, no, thank God I didn't. It's in the middle of the continent. <laughs> so, let's go back to Balmora and then Siltstrut. That'll be, that'll be the easiest way, I guess. Maybe they'll have it there. That's that's my hope. Because I, I do need to pick it up eventually. Hmm. Just grab one level, why not? Got some cash to spend. Oh, Jack, I knew, I, if you're still there, I knew you were playing The Witcher. What'd you think about the uh, Witcher trailers that are coming out? I am cautiously optimistic. I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Although I did read the books, you know, I'm a big fan of the property. Oh, well, I guess. Back to Eldrune. One more. One more travel. There we go. Okay. Why walk when you can ride? Why walk when you can ride? You've inspired me to read the books. Okay, good. I mean, they're good books, man. If you like the property. They're, I mean... They're... They, they are translated, so the prose can be a little rough sometimes. Because they're translated from Polish. But the content, the character is... I mean, it's the same Geralt that you know and love from the, from the books. Alright, who are we searching for? Toshpi. Ashbel. She lives in Margon. Let's ask around. What the heck? Okay, he just moonwalked down the stairs. <laughs> What's he doing? Come here. Come here, man. Tashpi. Is there a particular translation? I'm pretty sure there's only one. Uh, or, I, I mean, I, I walked into Barnes & Noble and, and just bought the book. Um, I'm not sure if there's different ones. Maybe on Amazon or something. But... There are some spaces when you you, you kind of read the sentence and you're like, all right, <laughs> English is not your first language, but that's okay, you know. It doesn't ruin it by any chance, by by any stretch. Last house on the right, before the shrine. All right, well, let's find the shrine. Are you the shrine? All right, there's the shrine. Last house on the right, so must be must be actually right next door <laughs> to where we were. There it is. Tashpi Ashbel. All right, let's let's stop the necromancer. If that's what she's doing. All right, this is Margon Larry, and I'm Tashpi Ashbel. Lots of pilgrims come to here to visit the shrine. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yes, you can tell me about your necromancy. Necromancy? I am not a necromancer who said I was a necromancer. Alright, uh, a bit of a bit of double crossing, maybe? Rainus Arthras did. Oh I see. I refused to join the Mages Guild. I chose to practice healing among my people, away from the politics of the guild. There are a lot of those. <laughs> Since I was a Velothi and not well born like Rainus, well it's not important now. Maybe I know a way out of this. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. I, I'm a benevolent guy. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll play this out. If Rainus has held a grudge this long, it would be best for me to leave for the mainland. There are plenty of towns that could use a healer. Tell Rainus Arthras I am dead, and I will leave Vardenfell, and Rainus will never need to know. That's not pretty. I mean, that sounds pretty believable to me. I mean, what do you, what do you think, Destructo? I think. I, hmm. It's always hard to tell in this game. We're only at 46 dispositions, so she could totally be lying. 
But I, I do kind of want to trust her. She lies? <laughs> do we think so? Hmm. Let me see. Let me see if I can get a persuasion off and then and then re-ask. Oh, it won't let me. I have to decide. You think she's lying, Destructo? I, I, I you know, it's a possibility. I'll have, I'll have a drink. I don't know anything, so don't go by me. All right, no, you said she lies. Let's do it. <laughs> I'll leave for the mainland as soon as I get a few things together. There are many other towns in need of a healer. Tell her I am dead. My time is precious, so make this quick. Hmm. I mean, there's no way to know. But my thought was, maybe if we rest and then try and get our disposition up, maybe she will. Never mind. Okay. All right. She's <laughs> she's going back to the mainland. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Okay, she agreed to go into hiding. I should tell her that she's dead. Okay. All right, fine. We'll let it. We'll let her up, Doug. Uh, did you save before? I can't remember. Uh, it's been. It's been a hot. It's been a hot second. But okay, my hope there was though, uh, if you're at full fatigue, you have a better chance to get off the persuasion checks. So I was hoping, you know, I could. I could land a couple persuasion checks and then maybe maybe get a little more definitive of an answer. I am totally lost right now. Where's the silt strider? <laughs> okay, it's straight ahead. I steer you wrong yet again. We I mean we don't know if you steered me wrong. <laughs> We're ride or die, Destructo. <laughs> just just man the course. Come hell or high water, we'll do it. <laughs> it's a safe assumption. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is. All right, back to Aldruin, and then one more back to, uh... One more back to Belmora to turn it on. Hello? Okay. <laughs> I was like, where'd he go? He was just here. Why walk when you can run? All right, that should net us... That should net us some money, and then... I, I just, God, I really want to find divine intervention. That, that will make our lives so much easier. Because then we can just teleport right back to towns. Because that's, you know, fast travel's pretty limited in this game. But once you have the tools necessary, I mean, it's not much worse than, than say, a Skyrim or, or a, a newer game. Please talk. Yeah, I mean, you just have to have the right tools. First off, especially if you're not playing a mage, everything is rough. You just got to walk everywhere. All right, necromancy. Did you kill the necromancer? Sure. <laughs> She's truly dead. You have done me. You have done me. Uh, er, uh, uh, I mean, the, the guild, a great service. She was lying. All right, we made the right call. She she just wanted us to, to kill her for her own personal gain. Fucking Rainus. All right. These scrolls should help you deal with any other necromancers you find. Uh, you mean healers that you're telling me to kill. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Do you sell it? No. Tough days. <laughs> I could see it in her eyes. You knew, Destructo. You knew it all along. Alright, let's get one more, one more duties. Infiltrated by a Telvanni spy. Go to the guild halls in Aldrun, Vivek, Sadrith Mora. I'm sure there's a spy. When you find a spy, do not take any action, but report back to me. Okay. We can do that. But we've done a lot of mages guild, so I actually may look into the main quest. Fargot's hiding space. No, yeah, we already did that one. Tumor Viridium, nope. Beauty and the Bandit, completed. Tablis Informant, what's this one? Here we go. The Spymaster has sent me to talk to Hasfat and Tablis at the Balmora Fighters Guild. I'm to ask him what he knows about the Norevarian secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult, and return to report to the Spymaster. I'll have to do some favor for him, and then he'll give me information. 
All right, now this is the main quest. <laughs> we haven't advanced it at all. We need to, we need to do it. We can't just keep being an errand boy. I learned the hard way from Mission in The Witcher Three not to trust people automatically. That game, a hundred percent, taught me that lesson for sure. There are some quests in this game that will, you know, kind of teach you the same way, but nothing compares to The Witcher Three, dude. <laughs> Which which one which one was it? Might I ask? Because I know the I know the one that that I'm gonna say. I'm talking. I need to talk to Hasfat and Tabalus. Oh, actually, we we can also put on our baller clothes. Never mind, it's all. <laughs> he is either back here in the training area or he's upstairs. Ah, you there, sir. Good day, Larry. You're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. That he does. And more skooma. DJ's back. Welcome back. Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first. All right. Politics, politics. And then I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. There are Dwimmer ruins nearby called Ark Gatand. <laughs> Ark Gatand? That's a mouthful. <laughs> I need you to run over there and find me a cube with a circular design and some symbols. It's called a Dwimmer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwimmer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. All right. Size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. It's made of coppery metal with a circular design, symbols, and some aligned marks. That's all I want, that little cube. Okay. Do the favor first. All right, fine. Hey. Errand boy again. I was watching a stream before you. My girlfriend's. Oh my god, your girlfriend streams, dude? That's awesome. Uh, also, I don't remember the name, but it's the one where you can free a spirit of a girl that was eaten alive by rats in a tower. Dude, that's Witcher as hell. That, that's about as Witcher as it gets. So, and it turns out she's a pesta. So if you pity her and let her go, she spreads a plague that kills a nearby town. And if you don't, she kills her true love. Oh. Yeah, there's that morally gray, man. That morally gray area, the Witcher, you know, we know and love. Whew. Damn. <laughs> I, I didn't do that one, but that sounds brutal. All right, let's uh sell this. Sell that, because we already read the skill book. She just started Skyrim Rerun. Console commanded to death. Console commanded to death? What do you mean, man? Like, did she... Is she's glitching out? Uh, let's... Okay, easy. Alright, Destructo, I'll tell you the one I'm, I was thinking of. It was the one... It, it, I think you had to go and kill, like, a Leshen in the forest or something. So I went and, and, and I was like, yeah, like, I'm a witcher. So I, I could either leave the Leshen be and, like, keep letting them sacrifice children to it, or I could go kill it. So... I decided to, to do the Witcher thing and go and kill the Leshen, or the Forest Spirit. I think it was a Leshen, I can't remember. And then I killed it. And the Leshen had been keeping all of the fields alive. So the next time I come back to the town, everyone's dead. The town was burned down. Apparently I started a famine, and everyone killed each other. And there was like two families left. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, God, no. <laughs> uh, God, the Witcher the Witcher will F you up, dude. Yeah, it's hard to forget that one. She levels up with commands. Oh, okay. Alright, I see that. Oh, also, we need to go to the Dwemer Ruins. What am I doing? I'm sleeping over here. It's that seven-hour car ride. I'm a little tired. That one has no good ending. Do you know the other ending? I probably won't. Uh, I may replay The Witcher soon. See, I, I know you mentioned it uh, the other day, like doing the mods, and I would love to do that. But I almost, you know, don't want to play it while Jack's streaming it. I think it depends who you back in the Civil War thing. Oh, okay, okay. It all comes, you know, there's some... There's some link. There's always a link. 
level 160. Also, going going off going off what DJ said. Back when I first played Morrowind, the only way that me and my brother could ever get anywhere was with console commands. And I mean, we would cheat like crazy. And in this game, since you have like hard skill numbers, you know, we'd be, we'd be like set acrobatics to 10 million. And you could literally just jump across the comp the continent because your acrobatics number is directly tied to how far you could jump. You know, you could, oh God, you could just do crazy. Set enchanting to 3 million and make an amulet that gives you 3 million intelligence and then just make a potion worth a billion dollars. Like it was, it was, console commands are ridiculous. Oh shit, it's this guy again. No. Oh my God, I forgot about him. I started talking. <laughs> Oh, what's our what's our chance to cast this 19 okay pretty much not even worth trying let's get sanctuary I'm a little fuzzy on the details just like over 50 missions in the game maybe a hundred I yeah I believe that god it's been a hot minute since I played the Witcher I need to do it skeletons are immune to frostbite so One more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got so frightened there because that was the guy that one shot us uh, the last time I streamed tomorrow. And <laughs> I totally forgot he was still out here. I was just like, God, no, not again. Nordic for boots, common pants. No one cares. Not about the common pants. I am no commoner. I do remember that one though. Helping the sisters is the worst. Damn, now strip his body. Damn it, I should have read your message one second earlier. <laughs> this is what you get for killing me. String him up by his toes. He'll never mess with Larry the Wizard again. I, I need like... Like every wizard has a the something. I need like a Larry the something. Uh, where is Archgaton? Is this it? That's Mirandus. That's Caldera. Narmok. I think this is the ruin. Uh. I'm not positive, though. Alright, well, that entrance is closed. Alright, get give me one second to read that Mr. DJ. I'm, I'm gonna come up here and check a door first. And then I'll get right on it. Alright, let me rest and I'll do it. Yeah, but she also gets in trouble for that. She started Dawn Guard DLC and after rejecting becoming a vampire, <laughs> she turned to the Dawn Guard fortress and there were vampires attacking. She killed them, but the process she contracted vampirism. So the Dawn Guard guards attacked her. She was trying to fix it with commands. But you can't get rid of vampirism with commands. <laughs> really? That's pretty rough, man. I figured you'd be able to get rid of command, you know, everything with commands. That's that's pretty funny, dude. Awkward. That feels bad, man. That feels bad. Well, I hope she finds a way out of it. Well, I mean, if she's level 166, she can probably just kill all of them, right? Like, sure, she'll be killing the guards, but... I mean, they attacked her. It's not her fault she got vampirism. Right? <laughs> okay, is the door down here? The door is not down here. Dang it. Okay. Alright, let's go to... Uh... Let's try this again. Dormer Ruin nearby. That's the only Dormer Ruin I know that's nearby. Arkentand. That is a horrifying name to pronounce. <laughs> I'm just going to look it up because I was almost positive that that was it. Arkentand. Da da da.
Yeah, that's it. Okay. I must have just missed the door. Interesting. Interesting. Or maybe it's one of those freaking magic ones that only open at a certain time of day or something. She did already. I told her to go to church. Simple as that. <laughs> Dude, you sound like, you know, every old school grandparent ever. Have a problem, just go to church. Pray, you know, you're, get rid of it. <laughs> at least that's how my grandparents were. Very old-fashioned people. Alright, so we're gonna go up and then look around. Because I may have just missed the door. Because I'm at the right spot. Oh, get out of here, son. Who do you think you are? Amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> okay, uh, DJ. Now, I, I remember when, this, when I went to New Zealand. I remember the first thing. The first thing that someone asked me. Once I started talking to them in New Zealand, was, um, do your American accent, and I just said what, and they were like, oh my god, that's amazing. So I'm just curious, when you think of an American accent, do you think of like Southern or like New York, or something in between? Because I remember being so taken aback. I was like, what American accent? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. I'm wondering if it only opens, like, during the daytime or something. I mean, there's got to be a gimmick. According to John Carpenter, the Catholic Church made vampires. Oh, there. You heard it here, folks. It's those dang priests. Oh, another crash, but we just... We crashed while resting, so we just auto-saved, so not, not, a, not a big deal. I know there are some different, like the like the redneck accent. You mean like all us people down here in Georgia? <laughs> oh, I just I just reloaded the wrong file. I I clicked on a a different one. So let me let me fix that real quick. There we go. That's the one that everybody remembers. Like do the cowboy one. Travel to the Dwemer ruins. Okay, I'm here. Cross the bridge, head north, head uphill to an ancient Dormer bridge. Yep. Signpost towards Caldera. Dormer bridge, yep. East side, turn the pipe near the door. Oh my god. <laughs> How could I freaking forget this? Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I drove seven hours and... Ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, there we go. We got it, we got it. Yeah, the cowboy one also. Trump has a particular accent, too. He does. <laughs> I don't even want to try and do Trump. <laughs> I'll make a fool of myself. Although I pretty much do that anyway, so... Not, not, nothing too impressive there. Alright, we, uh, well, let's just keep using Night Eye for now. May, may as well buff our alteration while we can, right? Alright, someone's down there. Oh, hello. Uh, let's Sanctuary. That's not Sanctuary. Alright, Sanctuary. Shield, the almighty trio. And then I, I think we got him. He looks like he's just a bandit. Oh, there's two though. That's a levitate. Not not yet. And let's actually try Frostbite. Oh, one. Two three. Hey. Nice and easy. Uh, we'll just take it all. Strip him down, like Destructo said. <laughs> I can't agree with John Carpenter. <laughs> I won't give any credit to the Catholics. 
That's funny. Okay, well, a little a little exploitation of old school AI right there. It's always nice when they just give it to you, right? There we go. The Weeping Bell Hall. Okay, I think these all go there. I am atheist. Very nice. I am. Eh, I'm just probably happily agnostic. I was ra my dad was Catholic though, so I can laugh at those jokes. <laughs> uh, okay, we can go up here. I'm a very do whatever makes you happy kind of guy. This is a dormer dungeon. It is. Oh, can we can we jump one more? There we go. All right, we're looking for a puzzle box. But the problem is, everything is brown. <laughs> it is very different, yeah. Oh, we got some paper. Very nice. Alright, let's uh, try and go through this door up here. Oh, a spear. Hey, now. I'll take that. Drop the... Uh, drop the Iron Curious. 44 pounds. Not worth much of nothing. This is pointless. Oh, crap. Alright, Sanctuary, Frostbite. See if we live. Ooh, God. That hurt. One more, one more, one more. Oh, so close. Whew, come on. God, we were so close. Uh, no, sp <laughs> no spiders or the steaming balls. No, they're still here. They're still here. Uh, there's just less of them. I think this has already been cleared out by these bandits. And they also look a little different in this game. Alright, let's do speed. Personality. Ooh, willpower. That's I, I want to buff intelligence, but that doesn't... We don't have the bonus on it, so I'll just do willpower. Because I think... Yeah, mysticism runs on willpower. Destruction, alteration. Yep. That's another thing. Like, the leveling is kind of D&D style. You know, like, assigning skill points and... Uh, all that jazz. Let's do frostbite. Level three. You did. <laughs> oh god, we needed to cast sanctuary. You're hardly a match for me. Um. Frostbite. One more. One more. One more. Two more. Two more. Two more. <laughs> Come on. All right, there we go. Sanctuary is so busted. Especially against melee. Ooh, Dwemer goblets. I mean, these are... These all... Ooh, never mind. I was about to say, these all sell great. No way, man. So slow leveling, like you just said. It is like d, &D. I mean, if you hit level 20 in this game, you're late game. Uh, so, I, I should say that the leveling is slow, but the, the progression arc isn't as steep. You know, in, in Skyrim, you can infinitely level. You know, in this, you pretty much tap out around, like, 20 or something. Okay, there's the puzzle box. Alright, journal updated. What's our weight? Oh, we can only carry one more pound. Uh, I, I just want to keep spamming Night Eye so that makes it easy for... For y'all to watch, and I may as, may as well keep leveling illusion. Nothing, nothing. Coins, coins sell very nicely. Alright, I think we move it on. We may come back and finish looting it, though, because we do want some money. So, you can wear any type of armor, um, but... Like, you have your primary skills, you know? So, it, it kind of... You played Oblivion, right, DJ? I, I can't remember if you did or not. 
but if you played Oblivion, it's similar to that, you know, where you... Yeah, okay. So then you have your primary skills that you have to level in order to level up. And if you pick the mage class at the beginning, then your primary skill is unarmored. So you'll be wearing, like, cloaks and whatnot. But technically, I mean, if you wanted to, you could make... You could do a custom class and then pick, like, heavy armor or something. I mean, if you wanted to get real spicy with it. Also, I just want to rest and see if I can cast Levitate. Because <laughs> who doesn't love to fly? Alright, grab a save. Alright, well. Yes, okay. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I wish I missed this in uh in Skyrim. <laughs> See like man, where what happened to the Elder Scrolls? You used to be able to fly. <laughs> if if one thing if I had to say one thing took a hit in Skyrim, it was probably spells and enchanting. As compared to, you know, this. But levitating would to you know, it totally breaks the games at some point. It is it is fun though. <laughs> this will probably be the best way to get around Vivek. Alright, I'm gonna land. <laughs> Uh, we we'll strip the we'll strip the old guy like uh, Destructo recommended now. I think we can hold his common pants. Teach him to mess with me. Drop the shoes. <laughs> I saw a video called "What Elder Scrolls Saga Lost on the Way," and it was mentioning this details. Yeah, you know. I know the games had to evolve, though. I'm not... I'm not mad at it, for sure. Yeah, creating spells. That That is cool. I mainly just miss Levitation, man. Like, come on. If, if you're gonna be a wizard in a fantasy world, I wanna fly. Like, that, what, why, why else would I be a wizard? <laughs> All right, hopping along, making our way downtown. Fucking, yeah, exactly. Yeah, screw invisibility. Who needs invisibility when you can fly, man? Levitate OP, make Skyrim great again. <laughs> All right, we're almost back. I, I really wish I could have found Divine Intervention at this Mage's Guild, but I may have to go to Vivek. Although, I, I think I'll be heading there for the main quest in a little second, so... Not a big deal. Not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, I bet there's a mod for it, dude. There's a mod for everything. There's there's definitely a mod for Levitation in Skyrim. Oh. Oh, yeah, we just clipped over a little... Uh, clipped over that there. Beautiful uh, Silt Strider. That's a little cooler than the Caravan, right? All right, back to Hasfat and Tabalus. We have done your favor, man. Now give us what we want. <laughs> Saving. The Guild of Fighters. Oh, there she is. All right. All right, I'm actually advancing main quest now, though. <laughs> I did start, and I'm like, I'm playing a mage. I'm going to go straight to the mages guild. But most of the mages guild quests are just kind of like, go here, talk to this person, do this, uh, pick these flowers. All right, I got you your dimmer, dwimmer puzzle box. All right. The little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. Uh, yes. 
I got it for you, my man. Did I... Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say. Dwimmer Puzzle Box has been removed from your inventory. Okay, perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just let me take this puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the Six House and about the Nereberine. By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be the directions to setting a Dwimmer key to open a specific lock. Take two. Are we back? Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> Sorry, my Wi-Fi cut out there. I don't, I don't know what that was about. That was, that was a little interesting. Let me, let me re reload Morrowind. Guys, is it even, is it even a copy in a stream if the Wi-Fi doesn't come out? <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there. All right, we're loading back. To the quick save. All right, so we. Before I noticed the Wi-Fi was out, <laughs> I did turn in the Dwemer puzzle box, and we did get our next quest. Go ahead. But let me make sure. Yes, this was the box I was looking for. Awesome. And we go to Caius. Oh, I accidentally just casted a levitate on myself. <laughs> Thought I had bound boots. Damn it, missed. <laughs> yeah, right? You missed my Wi-Fi crashing, man? It happens. Happens all the time. See, I was just playing, playing and talking like normal, and then I'm like, wait a minute. My chat isn't reloading. And then the, uh, yes, the classic disconnect screen. Hey, I just, I'm just keeping you in suspense. That's all it is. <laughs> gotta, gotta make it interesting. All right, but anyway... We turned in our Dwemer puzzle box, and we got the information on the Nereverine cult and the Sixth House of Dagoth. And now we are going to talk to the old bald drug addict. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, man, where's... I was like, DJ, DJ usually is spamming chat. What happened? <laughs> All right. Should be in this house right here. Well, I hope, you know, maybe you could use the uh, lull in the stream to go check on your <laughs> check on your girlfriend's stream. What level is she now? Like 700? Sorry, I'm just bored. No, man, I love it. You know that's why I do this. Uh, yes, orders. These notes are from Hasfat and Tabulus. Excellent. I trust you didn't work you too hard for them. Eh, not too hard. You know, a little hard. No, she's gone to bed. Okay. Well, I hope she had a good stream, man. I'll have to, I'll have to see if I can catch her one day. I'll look them over in more detail later, but now I have some new orders. Excellent. We like orders, guys. We like orders. 
I glanced at Hasfat and Tablis's notes. They covered the Sixth House admirably, but not the Reverine Cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Fighters Guild. Okay. And get Sharn Gramuzgob. Now that's a name. To tell you what she knows about the Nereverine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back when she's given you the information. Okay. I, I love how you can immediately see like an Orsimer, you know, orc name and just be like, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> they're, they're one of like the, I, I think the most unique identities in the Elder Scrolls. That and then like the old school Argonians, like in this and Oblivion, when they'd all have like hyphenated names and stuff. Also, what what level did she cap out, DJ? If you if you know, I, I'm I'm interested to see how far she pushed the envelope. All right, grab a save. I don't want to. I don't want to crash again I don't know where to begin. <laughs> when we walk inside. It's such an honor to meet you. Hoop, hoop. I think she usually is over here. Yeah, right here. Perfect. Um. I don't know of any spies. Okay, errand. Yes. Sharn Gramuzgob, okay. Let me, before I get engaged in another quest, let me let me make sure I know. Told me to get Sharn at the Mages Guild to tell me about the Nereverine, okay. And then to report back. I'll have to do an errand first. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. They're abusing my good nature. <laughs> Rather than pay informants hard cash, Caius trades favors. Okay. All right, so we do have to do the errand, okay. Uh, well, she stopped at 166. She just wanted to get all of the perks, and now she's done. There's 166? Okay. That actually makes perfect sense. She's like the ultimate Dovahkiin now. She's the ultimate fighter, dude. She will only command for items that she can't be bothered to get. I respect that, you know. Play however you want. Whatever whatever makes you have fun. Um, necromancers. Did we already grab thing? The tomb is south of Pelagiot off the road. Before you reach the fork where the road goes south towards Sedanin and southeast to Vivek, you may need an enchanted blade, some spirits or energy weapons. Take this. Okay. I've actually already cleared it out. Let me see if I can rest, because that was actually the dungeon we did. <laughs> I'm 124 and I have them all too. It works strange with the commands. Really? Do you know, like, exactly what it does? Uh, did they really respawn? Okay. Alright, well, she must have respawned the enemies. Ooh, can I sell to you? Alright. Uh, we gotta, we gotta dump some things. Let's just get rid of some of our... Our stranger alchemy items. You buy coins? Ah, dang it. <laughs> Couldn't quite get away with it. Alright, we will keep... Ooh. The fire salts. Okay, she can afford it now. Sweet. So, are there 124 perks in the game? I actually don't know. I'm actually just curious now. I've never, like, stopped and counted, like, what level, you know, you would need to be. Up, up, and away. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Nearly a legend? I want to be a full legend. Alright, we can actually dump these weapons on this armor right here. Barter. Sell. Sell, sell. 
Um, fire blade. That would actually be better than the other one. What are these? Steel? We'll sell ours. Doesn't buy those. Okay. Dang it. We're pushing our luck. <laughs> we need to just keep moving. Uh, I was leveling the skills directly. She started just leveling. Without leveling the skills, she had to re-level the skill in order to get enough points. I honestly haven't worked it out. Okay, interesting. I certainly don't know about it. I, you know, I should go. I should go back and do that. I should go back and just do like a, like a console commanded playthrough. Just become a god. Because I do kind of miss those days, back when I used to do it as a kid. Uh, sell the pictures. Let's let's just drop weight. Apparel, common pants, common pants, common. We had three pairs of common pants. It is quite fun. I bet it would be. I bet it would be. Two common belts. Man, we're loaded to the freaking gills with common. <laughs> I guess bandits can't really afford, you know, expensive, expensive clothes. I can't really either, so you know, I can't. I can't talk. I can afford band shirts though. <laughs> I did it because I just wanted to go back uh, to what I achieved on my first run. Yes. Now that I can relate with. It is hard to go back and like start a completely new playthrough after you're like level 100 something, you know? Because you're so used to that kind of play style and then you go back to just being like a little nobody and you're like, what? <laughs> this isn't the game I remember. All right, Andro Ancestral Tomb south of Pelagiad. Let me see if I can... Quick travel to Pelagiad. I'm pretty sure I can't. Eh. Rough. Why walk when you can ride? Why walk when you can ride? Alright, we need a rest once we get out into the wilds. I'm, I'm confused at this, though, because the Andrano Ancestral Tomb was the Ancestral Tomb that I cleared out at the beginning of the stream, right when you joined. So maybe... Maybe it just respawned, you know, when I accepted the quest. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Hold on, I, th I think the, uh... Are we, are we invisible walling right here? Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was about to say. Gotta, gotta have a little fun with Skyrim. Or uh, Marwyn. The glitches. Uh, let's bound boots. Actually, let's rest, because we have no magicka. What's a mage with no magicka? One who dies. <laughs> so, have you had any rowdy guests since I've been. since I've been gone, DJ? Okay, there we go. Hey, thanks for the help, buddy. You're a little late, but... I won't hold it against him. Hopping on. Acrobatics to 25. Just gotta keep moving. Keep moving and, and hope that we find Divine Intervention at the next Mage's Guild. Because <laughs> that teleporting will cut down all this walk time. Alright, Andrano Ancestral Tomb. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just along here, down below Pelagiad. Oh, hello. And hey, money. There we go. 
Never hurts to one shot. Let's go to the local map, because I'm pretty sure it's over. Uh, we're not close enough yet. But it should just be up around the corner. Oh, hello, update. Go away. <laughs> not, not while I'm on stream, please. Windows, man. I'll get you every time. I wonder if Mac has that problem. I'm not a Mac user. But, I, but I'd imagine that, you know, force updates on you. I feel like that's just the thing to do with operating systems. Alright, it's not this one. I think it's the next one. But I will discover what this is, just because I am a curious human. Adanu Maran. Sounds like a wizard's name. Alright, we're grooving. At least we have the music with us. Alright, let's see if we're close enough yet. Yeah, not quite, not quite. But it should just be on this road. Now, if only mushrooms grew like this, you know, in real life. Now that'd be some. <laughs> spice, so, you know, spice it up. Amsterdam would be a lot more interesting. Uh, I don't think that's it either. No, it's not. I think it's the next one. Saw, dudes. What's up? Don't cry. Welcome back, man. How was your week? How was your week? I had a busy one. I drove for seven hours today. Seven hours. It's terrible. <laughs> but I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on by a thread. Got a stream. Glad you could make it back. Alright, this place should be, like, right over here. Or did I pass it? Is it back here? Not too shabby. In two weeks, you drive from Wyoming to Tennessee? Good lord, man. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> now that's, that's some driving. Alright, let me check this. Just south of Pelagiad, off the road, before the fork, where the road goes southwest. Okay. So it is continuing forward. Are you going on vacation? Uh, work? Family? I can't complain too much. My, my drive was just from uh, Georgia to Florida. But, you know, Georgia and Florida are deceptively large. <laughs> you, you think they're next door neighbors, but I don't know. Florida especially. Florida's huge. You, you sometimes forget. Alright, there's the tomb. Dead ahead. Right on the crosshairs. Can we rest before we get into trouble? That's probably the move. There we go. Oh. Interrupted me. See ya, Scrib. Alright. We are close. Gonna move out of Wy move out of Wyoming for the winter and keep training. That is a light, you know. That's a worthy cause. <laughs> I I also would not want to be in Wyoming in the winter. <laughs> Tennessee much more hospitable. What are you What are you training for? Ooh man, Globetrotter after Tennessee, Mexico. Is that also for training? Because that's some serious hardcore training, man. <laughs> Tra training to train harder. Wait, well, whatever works, dude. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Alright, you... Uh... That was the... Uh... You did something with snowboarding, right? Uh, mountaineering... 
I, I can't remember the name that you said off the top of my head. But I do remember being like, holy crap, this guy's way cooler than me. <laughs> I climb mountains, yeah. <laughs> okay. I knew it was mountaineering or something around there. I don't forget something like that. S snowboard mountaineering, okay. How'd you get into that? I'm curious. I'm curious how you fall into that profession. I feel like that's a tough one to, uh... Tough one to get into. Okay, so I think we may have left one enemy alive in the tomb earlier. Oh, let's 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 keep night eye rocking. You get into it by deciding to do it. Okay, fair enough. I will take your word for it. Oh well, we did leave a silver dagger, so. Uh, chest. Is this silver as well? 30 for 60. We have the weight for it. May as well. Money's money, right, guys? Wait, did you grow up in an area that had a lot of snowboarding and mountaineering? Or did you just fall in love with it on your own? Oh, I should probably sanctuary. Not, not try and die immediately. Oh, I was about to say, if, if he's resistant to fire, it's about to get interesting. One more, one more. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh. Had me worried for a second. There we go. Grab a rest. Because, you know, I will say, being from, being from Georgia, getting into mountaineering would not be the easiest thing for me. <laughs> The Dagger of Judgment. Dude, the Dagger of Judgment sounds super intimidating, but it's only worth six gold. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, don't... Hi there. Yep. People trickling in. Okay, so is that it? Did we clear it out now? Did we really leave... Did we really leave one bone walker alive earlier in this dungeon? Look, there's the culprit, DJ. That's that's who we freaking left alive. Uh, what does it do? Okay, yeah. It damages endurance for 5 to 8, and it damages strength for 5 to 8. The Dagger of Judgment. I wish it did a little more. <laughs> I wish it did a little more. All right, I mean, I'm I'm gonna check every room just to be sure, cause I don't want to run all the way back here again. Take the hound meat. I don't know how it actually happened that I decided to do all this. I became a runner, then ultra marathoner, then moved to mountains to train at altitude, and the rest is history. Don't cry. Are you familiar with a man named David Goggins? Because that kind of sounds like something David Goggins would, would tell people to do. <laughs> Not that I'm saying he told you to do it, but I have listened to his stuff. He's also an ultra marathon runner. And uh, all about that, like, suffering leads to greatness mentality. And, I mean, he's awesome. I love I love his stuff. He, he's, well, he's probably the only ultra marathoner that I've looked into heavily. It's not a Daedric item, is it? It's it's not, right? It's misleading, DJ. I, yeah, I see Dagger of Judgment, and I'm like, this is going to be the Mayroon's Razor times five. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... I got to check this room over here. I really just do not want to walk away and have to come back. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. I know David. He's legit. He is, man. I, I listen, I want to buy his book and read his book. I mean, he's a fascinating freaking person. I mean, it, it, to be honest, anyone who can who uh, runs an ultra marathon is pretty fascinating. <laughs> so don't cry, you're, 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 you're a hardcore dude. All right, now we can go back. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's cleared. 
I mean, it has to be. There's nothing left. All right, settle in for another walk. <laughs> Also, okay, so talk about suffering. When you climb a mountain, every step feels like dying, and there's hundreds of thousands of steps. Yes. Yes. I, I wouldn't say I was a mountain climber. I'm sure your character would agree to what you're saving about, David. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My character is, is not a very hardcore guy, so he, he really respects David Goggins right now. <laughs> and don't cry. But I... I I wouldn't have called myself a mountain climber, but I did do some, you know, light, you know, backpacking uh, back in the day. And I just remember one time I, I wore, I, I had forgotten my hiking boots. I'd forgotten my boots, so I had to wear someone else's just last minute. And, uh, oh my God, those, that final mile at the end of the second day hike because we hiked all day both days coming down the other side of the mountain i was like in tears with each step because my foot didn't foot it fit in the hiking boot right and it, that was some of the worst pain like ever oh god i just destroyed my feet i mean it was it was bad put on some shoes and go run a mile then you don't have to buy the book i do run a i, I do run a good bit uh <laughs> I I used to be into cross country. I think that's why he resonated so hard with me when I listened to I you know I listened to his Joe Rogan podcast and I used to listen to him uh when I was in the gym for motivation. Like he had some speeches and interviews and stuff. I think we're just going to dive in here and check this out, break up this walk. But I back in the day, I used to run cross country alone I didn't I didn't run with a team I, I would just compete in like 5k's and stuff and I used to run a 5k every day for like a year and a half probably and now I couldn't do it <laughs> I, could, I ran myself sick I burned out like I, I think it helped me in that it was a, it was an interesting time in my life so I think that was like my catharsis but I am I'm not about to do that again <laughs> Let's get Sanctuary on and then Shield on. Now imagine that, but it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit and you're in a blizzard trying not to die. See, that's why I'm leaving it to you, don't cry. <laughs> yeah. I, I can, I can barely imagine that and it, it sounds incredibly intense. Um, I, I, I need to heal, I need to heal. Don't cry. You can also steal the book and then run for a few miles. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and you'd have to run fast, man. Cop, cop cars are quick. Now, that'd be some training. That'd be some serious training right there. Catharsis is... Uh, wow, that was uh, English. English is hard to spoke. Catharsis is the name of my mountain bike. That's actually pretty sick. That's really cool. That is a great name. That's a great word, too. Powerful word. Alright, we're gonna try and keep using uh, Frostbite. Just because less things have resistance to ice than fire. Unless it's a Nord. If it's a Nord, we're done. <laughs> um, Is Sanctuary still on? Sanctuary is not on. Sanctuary is the only thing saving us at the moment. And speaking of Nords, uh, let me switch to Firebite. Never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> hey, Coffee Nut, I found out that we follow someone in common. Hometown Green rings a bell. Yes, dude, I've been watching Hometown um, when I haven't been streaming. She's super cool. She's, she's like really chill, like a really relaxed Skyrim streamer. She's really cool. Catharsis and Shadow. Dude, those are both badass names. She is right. She is right? Maybe is uh, what you were going for? She is. Yeah, she's really cool. I, I, I enjoy her her stuff. 
I was actually gifted a subscription <laughs> to her last night. I was watching uh, with my family. Or not her with my family. I was just sitting around with my family and turned it on. Okay, can this guy, like, please not absolutely murder us? Oh my gosh. Whoo. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try and summon our bone walker. <laughs> but shadow and catharsis is 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 shadow does that have any meaning to you? My my man, I think I know why you chose catharsis. Uh for for your bike name. All right, uh let's actually try and get this person to tank for us. Oh, well, we failed to cast it. So we're going to leave. Because <laughs> that Nord just one-shot us. Uh, his, his friend was a freaking pancake, a pansy compared to him. Are you kidding me? I don't know. You just have to empower yourself. Basically, everything we do right now, we know it doesn't work. So do the opposite of that. That's a great meaning behind the name. That is pretty badass. Also, I... Ooh, I hate giving up. When I don't want you, I watch her. I met her while she was flying on a horse. Hey, man. Fantasy friends meet in the strangest ways. Um, wow, don't cry. That's pretty deep. You played it... I don't know. You played it up like you didn't have some deep meaning, and then you had a deep meaning. <laughs> Hell yeah, right? Right? Don't cry needs to give himself a little credit here. So, I mean, just just because I have... Um, just because I've listened to David, I kind of... Kn I, I know some of the names of some of the ultra marathons. I'm just curious, have you run any of the big... of the big ultras? Because I, I may recognize, you know, a name here or there, if, if you're involved in that community. Shadow has my dad's initials in it, but that's my road bite. Trek Domine Sur, carbon everything, 13 pounds. Ooh, that's a tasty freaking bike, dude. I used to have, I used to have a mountain bike. I never really used it much, though. <laughs> I think I just sold it. And sorry, we, we just have to walk back to Balmora. I, I, I need... I, I'm going to Vivek after this. I'm, I'm looking for that Divine Intervention spell. We don't want to just walk everywhere. Do the enemies from Morrowind level with you? Yeah, they do. I think some have a set level, like special enemies may. Um, kind of like in Mar like in Skyrim with like the Ebony Warrior and Karstag and stuff. But most most level with you which is kind of sad because you want to come back and just feel like a badass you know what I mean because I mean the game like enables you to become this like superhuman and then you actually come back and you're not really a superhuman because <laughs> everything's leveled with you All right, we're just gonna keep doing uh, bound boots just for the little boost to the speed. I never run any of the big bigs, but I paced my buddy to a few to 100 mile wins. I've had injury problems for the last few years, hence the bikes. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, this is hysterical. I can, uh, I can try and cast the spell, and it'll not work and still boost my conjuration <laughs> I'm glad that you listen uh, to your to your doctor or physical therapist or even just your body I remember when I was doing my cross-country phase and was running 5k's all the time I partially tore my hamstring because I just always have had bad hamstrings like I'm young and I freaking did that like come on man or, I mean, I was in high school then, so I, I could see doing it now if I'm in my 20s and I've been doing it for years, but come on. But I did that, and my, my physical therapist told me, you know, you need to do PT for 
half a year, and then you you shouldn't need surgery, but you need to do all these other things, and you need to quit running. And I think I quit running for like two weeks, and my hamstring has never felt the same. That is that is one regret that I <laughs> that I have in life is that I did not listen to that physical therapist. <laughs> I have bad hamstrings too. Five tears on the right, three on the left. Good God. Yeah, and, and so far I, I've never had a. I didn't have a full tear, but I did. I had a partial tear in it, like enough to get the scar tissue because I pulled it really, really bad when I was playing rugby, and I I went back to a different physical therapist just because I was I you know you hardly can walk once you do it really bad. And um, she was feeling around in my leg, and she's like, yeah, this is all scar tissue. And I was like, crap. <laughs> yoga and vegetables pretty much heal everything. I like yoga. I need to do it more. I like it. I, I just, uh, it's one of those things that kind of escapes me. I have, I have been better about my eating, though. Except when I was in Disney World. I, I was telling a... I was telling the stream earlier. I was, I spent one day at Epcot and <laughs> in Disney World. Um, I was down in Florida visiting a family member, and we drank around the world. So that certainly was not good for my health. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made, though. All right, let's get rid of these hound meats. She doesn't buy Dormer coins. Um. I'm going to sell her the Dagger of Judgment. I'm going to keep the Fire Blade, though. I'm just going to go ahead and sell her these. There's also girls at yoga. Haha. -ha. True story. Now that's my kind of marathon. Dest Destructo's back, baby. <laughs> you, make, you always make a grand entr entrance, uh, my friend. I agree, Destructo. I, 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 like I was telling, don't cry. I kind of ran myself stupid back, back when I was younger. I have done it. Is she telling me that I didn't clear that tomb? Did I, did I? Did I bug it because I did it before? Because if if it roadblocks us here, we're just going to do more Mages Guild, and then I'll figure out what's wrong with the tomb. Oh my god, okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. Y'all saw me check every room in that damn building. <laughs> I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Well, we will take another quest, and I'll deal with this later. <laughs> I'm not into running or cycling. I'm a swimmer. Ooh, dude, swimming is hard as crap. I respect that too. I was never, I was never a great swimmer. I'm too short. Swimming is tight. I was trained to do this thing called the picnic, but I don't think I have time to finish the training. Hail at Destructo, you bugged it out. Yeah, I, I mean, it seems like it. I feel like I'm going crazy because <laughs> I, 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 I triple checked that room. She was singing. That was funny. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to check your spells, but you don't have any. Alright. I actually think I know what I'm going to do. So I need to go around and ask about the Telvani spy. So I at least need to go to Vivek and keep searching for Divine Intervention. So I think that's the move. I think we just keep continuing the Mage's Guild. I bugged it out. Good old Bug Thesta. I I'm trying to remember where the spy wow. is, because I have done this test, test quest before. <laughs> I could swim... I'm, I'm not even a good athlete or anything. I just have a smidge of belief in myself and determination. And that is more important than being athletic. Because that applies to everything in life. 
I could swim like 3k in 45 minutes in my good days and now I'm an old hag. You old hag, you're a hag raven. <laughs> you're a mere shadow of yourself, mate. Okay, talk to Trebonius. Alright, so we know who to talk to. God, 3k. I... Never. Demoralization. Hoptoad. That's funny. Eye gaze. Chameleon. Demoralize. Oh, mark and recall. There we go. That's super helpful. Okay. That will save us a ton of time. Well, we are gamers, right? We don't multi-class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't multi-class. I was a runner. But now I'm a gamer. <laughs> they can't can't multi-class. You're right. All right, Trebonius, tell me about these spies. Why no, Larry? There are no spies here, and I would know if there were. I'm the Archmage, after all. Tiram Gadar, my Dunmer advisor, keeps an eye out for spies and that sort of thing. Hmm. How funny of you to directly mention someone by name. He's been of immense assistance, Larry. He helps me see the Dunmer side of every decision I make, and he came with the highest credentials. Okay. I think we know who the thief is. <laughs> I'm sure I have somewhere around here. Ah, oh, yes, here you go, Larry. A letter from Okato himself. Alright, let's check this. Also, also, the picnic is riding your bike 25 miles Ouch. Swimming a mile, then climbing the Grand Teton, and doing it again in reverse. But I was going to add another leg with another mountain, another leg, and another bike ride. Good God, man. I was going to call it the Sicknick. Yeah, that is sick. Speak, traveler. I mean, that'd be really cool. That'd even be, that'd even be like, you know, if you have, I don't know if you have an Instagram or anything, but, you know, stuff like that, you know, to just even vlog about, you know, do like little snippets. Like, that'd be sick, man. I like I like watching uh you know David when he would do his little vlogs, you know, it's just crazy to think about good motivation. Oh yeah, I need to I need to read. Yeah, I need to read these. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. To the esteemed Archmage Trebonius. The man delivering this letter is one Tiram Gadar. Though a Dunmer, he was raised in the Imperial Province. I recommend him as an advisor. Sincerely, Akato. Yeah, there's the error. The fake! <laughs> it sounds like an Iron Man. It does kind of sound like an Iron Man. Okay, so I need to take this to Okato. Trebonius. Even Akata's name. Okay, well. Tiram Gadar. Ah, here we go. Truth. Tiram, I'm not gonna lie. Check in time. Right? <laughs> yeah, check in time. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I mean this guy's this guy's the liar. Rainus sucks as a human. <laughs> but Tiram Gadar is actually lying, so we're we're gonna freaking turn him in, you idiot. What? Frankly, I don't believe you. Tiram Gadar is my most trusted advisor, and I've given you his impeccable credentials that are fake, and Rhaenys Arthras might believe these baseless accusations, but I am more sophisticated. He's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, except you're at 6,000 to 14,000 feet of altitude. Don't cry. That is crazy, my friend. By all means, I'm listening. All right, uh, let's check our other quest. I think we just turned this into Rainus, actually. So, back to Balmora we go. Yes! Yes, indeed, Destructo. Shit, is this a test for insanity? <laughs> yeah, and don't cry failed. <laughs> but that is badass, man. Don't cry. I'm I mean, that's that's amazing stuff, dude. All right, you've motivated me. I'm gonna go and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kick ass on that treadmill tomorrow. I'm I'm be thinking about you. I'm be thinking about David Goggins. I'm be go, going hard. Um, all right, tell Bonnie Spy. 
Yes, this is exactly the kind of proof I was looking for. Excellent work, Larry. It's a shame the guild is run by a scuttlehead. Wow, I know what that feels like. With no sense of ambition like Trebonius, these credentials are the worst forgery I've seen in years. Even Akato's name is misspelled. Please take these scrolls and the dagger. Cool. I wonder if it's better than the Dagger of Judgment, because the Dagger of Judgment was a huge letdown. <laughs> All you have to do is breathe and keep going if you think about it. Yeah, you're not wrong. It has to be so impressive to do this. <laughs> yeah. Go easy, then eventually easy becomes fast. Me and David be waiting on you. All right. I'll update you. When I, when I hit my first 100 mile, uh, <laughs> I'll let you know. But don't wait up. <laughs> you know, don't wait up. Let's barter. Let's barter. Homegirl just gave us a dagger worth $11,000. What? 8, 12, 12. Heck, yeah. Money. Wow. <laughs> DJ's out. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, my hamstrings. Uh. Oh, God. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you Larry, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Excellent. I'm glad I have this excuse, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't cry as a... Gr I mean, the, the message is incredible. You know, what what him and, him and David preach here. I mean, that's, that's the main takeaway. Is that, like, holy crap. You know, you put your mind to it, you can climb mountains and do all kinds of things you never thought. Extravagant pants. Yeah, we're getting rid of those. I think that's good. Well, I need to get rid of some coins. Take take the coins. Anything else? I, I have so little coin now. There we go. <laughs> Shove it down her throat. <laughs> So, don't cry. I know you were going to Wyoming. Um, is Mexico also for training? Can you cook in Mara when you can't? I don't think. I'm pretty sure you can't. Travel. Oh, maybe we should uh, grab another quest. <laughs> Spoke with the sleeper. He made no sense. Yeah, I should have grabbed another duty. I walked. I walked out with a, uh, without getting a duty. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Music was too loud. Rocking out over here. Hey, there's never a need to uh, apologize for that in my stream. Uh, I was just. I was just wondering if. Mexico. You said you were going to Mexico after Wyoming, if that's also for training. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Well, let's advance. Uh, maybe not yet. You've completed the duties. Go to Skink. Okay. Dead Mao 5. Aural Synapse. I, I used to listen to Dead Mao back when he first came out. But I, I haven't kept up with him recently. What can I do? I'll, I'll have to look into it though. We we do have a down in the Discord below. We do have a music suggestions room specifically for music suggestions. So feel free to join the Discord and po post a, a link there if you uh, want me to check it out after stream. I usually I usually try and and catch up on everybody's music music tastes after after a stream ends all right we need to go to Sedrith Mora thank you thank you what can I do oh my god people one at a time please <laughs> how are you 
one at a time. Duties. You may be able to as assist me, Larry. I would like to speak with one of the wise women of the Ashlanders. Could you arrange a meeting? I can. Speak with the wise women of the Ashlander tribes. I doubt... Erabinenemson or the Urshalaku would agree. The Zanaib might agree, but I would speak with Ahimusa first. The Ahimusa camp is on the northeastern corner of Vardenfell. Take a ship to Vitalvas and go north up the coast. If you reach the sea, you have gone too far. Okay, so take a ship to Tel Vos, and there's a ship here. Alright, we're, we're doing it. Yeah, going to keep training in Mexico, but just don't want to fuck with the snow for a bit. Been an endless winter for seven years. Really? Is it is it that bad? Um, actually, I, I don't know where you're coming from. I know you're move. I know you're moving to Wyoming. Let me make sure I don't have any of these lowered. Okay, no, I haven't dealt with bone walkers. You know, guys, I'm sure doing sports at very low temperatures have definitely lots of merit. But what about in the heat? I think they both have lots of merit, man. Anything. Anything extreme. Also, I'm gonna go and rest in the Mage's Guild. I forgot I was out of Magicka. Imagine an Iron Man in 35 Celsius. Now, be, beca because I What's sadly use freedom units. <laughs> or, uh, Fahrenheit. I'm assuming 35 Celsius is like 110? My conversion, my conversion is bad. I'm sorry. I apologize, DJ. <laughs> but in my head, I'm imagining like 115 Fahrenheit or something. I know guys that teach skiing that haven't seen summer in 20 years. Good God. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, I couldn't do that. After after being raised, I mean, I'm I'm from Georgia. After being raised here, I, I couldn't even live in Chicago. You know, I I struggle up there. And like, I loved Norway when I visited Norway. And Norway was awesome, great country. I couldn't deal with winter ten months out of the year. And then in summer, it's like sixties, seventies. You know, here in here in summer, it can get to like a hundred and. 203 and then it usually stays around 80 in southern Spain we reach 104 Woo. Ah, that's 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 a lot I don't think we get that hot in Georgia at least not where I'm from Majorca 95 is it 95 for you now Cause that's not too bad. That's that's kind of like where Georgians live, you know. We, we live at like 95 and humid, and and uh, there's such humidity here. I I don't know if you have bad humidity in Spain, but I mean if you're in Georgia in freaking July, it's like you're walking through soup. All right, I'm assuming that this guy can take us up the coast, cause we need to be about right here, up in Telvos. Even here in Wyoming, it's winter from October to May and June. Really, wow. Different ways to live, man. Okay. Um, we're gonna go to Telmore. Let's see. Let's see how close we can get. Or did I just throw a dart at the dartboard and miss? Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> you. How about Tel Voss? Well, there's a Voss. All right, now we just go northeast of here, up the coast. Wolf Tongue, come to Iceland, dude. I would, uh, I would love to come to Iceland, actually. Between eighty to ninety percent humidity. Oh my God! Wow. That's. I I didn't expect Spain to be that humid. I guess I don't know why. I guess I expected it to be kind of like arid. Wolf Tongue in Iceland. What's the hottest it gets in the summer? Because that's, that's kind of what we're going on. We're complaining about heat. <laughs> I just might. Spain is on an island. And don't forget. Or, or, I just might. Don't forget I'm on an island. Yeah. I do forget that. You know, you're... Actually, we probably need to head out of the city a little bit. Surrounded by water. 
Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> hey, at least, but, but you know, you're on a nice resort. You know, beautiful. At least that's how I picture it. And the food's great. Help. <laughs> Alright, there's Telvoss, and we are heading. Ahemusa. Telvoss, north up the coast. Okay. That's what we're doing. Close. I used to go run 30 miles in 110 degrees. No, thank you. <laughs> That's rough, Wolf. That's rough. Alright, let me cast Night Eye so y'all guys have a little bit easier time seeing me. Oh, I should have marked. Yeah, actually, let me do that right now before I forget. Let me rest. I should have done this in town. Oh, I have an 80% chance, yeah. Alright, do that. And then we can recall to that position later. You know how it gets in the dirty south, too, with 100% humidity. <laughs> yeah. Holy swear word! Gee, Manini's Batman. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, did, what did they say in those old TV shows? Yeah, the dude, Dirty South with 100% humidity. That's that's how I live, my friend. <laughs> and it's a tough life. Oh god, okay. Uh Let's do let's do sanctuary. And then let's do firebite. All right, so don't cry. You know, sounds like you've done some crazy things. I got to know though. What do you think was the craziest? You know, if you had to look back at a time when you're like, why the heck did I even think I should do that? I wonder what, I, I'm curious what that was. Because it sounds like, I mean, you just have an amazing repertoire <laughs> to choose from. <laughs> All right, if I hit the ocean, I've gone too far. I may be missing them. I hope I'm not. I think we should still be okay though. And I do have my mark set back towards city. You know, if I need a if I need a return. It sounds like Georgia has some kind of Mediterranean climate. Yeah, it's just super humid and it gets super super hot. We don't have heroes though, we have fried chicken. <laughs> Alright, we should oh, there's the village. Okay, sweet, dead ahead. I'm not lost yet. <laughs> not entirely, at least. Let's see what this guy, this uh, unwitting bystander has to say. Stranger, yes, you, please, can you help me? I've been attacked by a couple of bastard Ashlanders who robbed me and left me for dead. Okay. I'd know them anywhere. They looked kind of like normal dark elves, but wild. They wore animal skins and had tattoos and they had odd hair. They sh they should be easy to spot. It's no surprise they robbed me. Okay. Those Inwas nearly killed me. They took my entire shipment of guar hides. It's easy to tell they're mine. They have the damn mark on them. Look if you can help get those hides back and kill the fetchers who stole them. You know, there's a lot of great cuss words in this game. Holy crap. And uh, don't cry. I'll get to your message in one second. Uh, excellent reward. I was My friend in Telmora will be most generous. Awesome. Okay. I'll see if I can find him. Excellent. Go kill him. All right, where are they? <laughs> You're not giving me a lot to work with, my friend. Uh, okay, we'll keep our eye out for the bastards. Let me let me try this one more time. See if, see if we can. Gold flasks. All right, we're moving. But you have Florida just underneath you, right? 
Uh, yes, we do. Florida also has pretty crazy humidity, especially if you're like in the middle of Florida where the swamps are. Oh my God, dude, Everglades. You got gators, you got pythons, and you got like mosquitoes and 100% humidity. And most of the crazy shit I wouldn't do again involves dangerous avalanche conditions, not really distances or terrains. I mean, that's still pretty crazy. That's still pretty crazy. So shout out to you. I'm assuming this is just an egg. Egg farm? I, I love how that guy, you know, gave us absolutely nothing to go off of. <laughs> He's like, stop stop these robbers, and then... Well, where are they? <laughs> yeah, I don't see anyone around us. You gotta be careful in those avalanches, man. Uh, my girlfriend's mom's sister actually died in an avalanche. Which is weird to think about, because, you know, you... Oh, it resists the magic. It must be uh, immune to fire. Yeah, it's immune to fire. Alright, there we go. Ooh, resin. Thank you. 50, 50 smackers. I'm watching you play, trying to get pointers. Some of these missions I've done and some I haven't. Um, well, mainly we've just been doing the Mage's Guild, so <laughs> I hope... I hope you haven't done, done all the mages guild and are just totally bored. All right, now we have to talk to the wise woman. All right, let's go ahead and save. And now we'll try. Ask her what's going on. Uh, why do you trouble us, Ashlander? We have nothing worth taking. Why don't you leave us alone? I just want to arrange a meeting. I will not meet with this Argonian. I might send my princess, my apprentice, I don't know why I read a princess, <laughs> Menabibi, for it is time she saw how you foreigners lived and left her childish notions behind. Okay. She's in Faveltium. It is west of our camp. Go west along the coast, past the ruins. If you reach the Ashlands, turn back. Outcasts from our tribe live nearby. They are dangerous. I wonder if those are the bastard Ashlanders. All right, go west and past the ruins. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't cry, just be careful. We don't want anyone missing in the community. Heck no, man. Gotta watch those avalanches. Speak, traveler. We have lots of people die out here all winter, man. If I could get into all the snow stein shit, I would, but it's complex and touchy-feely. I can see that. I mean... It's just hard, especially with... I don't know, like people doing extreme sports. Because if you paid for that trip and you flew all the way out there and you have that mindset of, you know, just go, like they're not going to stop. You, you know, even if the conditions are terrible. You know. So I think it's I think it's just kind of it just kind of comes with the terrain. You know what I mean? We have lots of people in Mallorca that have never seen snow in their lives. I I actually know some people in uh, from Florida who've, who've never seen snow in their lives. Oh. I forgot to rest. <laughs> I really need to rest. I got caught up in chat. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can at least get a heal off. One more, please. There we go. Alright, what do we have? What's going on? Oh, it's just a rat. <laughs> I thought it was a cliff racer. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, moving on. All right, we're looking for a tomb. If we hit the Ashlands, we've gone too far. So we got to go past the ruins, by the ruins. Yep, that's exactly what happens. They're looking at a window of time, and the pros are looking at a window of safety. Yeah. Comes with the terrain, man.
you know, but I, I should hope at least that, you know, people know that that's always a possibility and they're just, you know, you just decide to do it anyways and hope for the best. It's like, uh, do you, have you seen Free Solo? Uh, do you remember that guy's name? I, I can't remember his name. Alex Honolin. Um, like he knew he could die at any moment, but, but he just did it anyways, <laughs> you know, because that's what he came to do. Oh shit. Okay. Hello. Um, spell absorption. Let's try that. Sanctuary. Please. Alright, there we go. Come here, devil. Have you guys heard about balconing? No, what's that? Do, do inform. I, th I think I'm just gonna get to exploit AI right here. Never mind. That thing is poison and is going to kill me. <gasps> yep, that works too. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, at least we had a quick save. I'll, no, I have not heard of balconing, DJ. Do, do enlighten me. It's the action that the Brits take when they first meet with a balcony. They jump down. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. I'm also just going to hopefully ignore these people. Being a uh, high elf, we are very susceptible to magic damage, which they have a lot of. So we're going to cruise on by. Because once we do this, we can just recall and uh, go right back to our... Our mark. Where, where it, oh my god, really? Uh, okay, okay. Of course, the Dark Brotherhood attacks me in the freaking dungeon. Uh, sanctuary. Shield. Alright, uh, Frostbite, probably. Yep. There we go. Hey, at least we got the armor. I mean, that is super helpful to sell. Grab another save. Years in Malaga for Resort of Malaga, those are high rate of death by jumping off balconies, really? I wonder why that is. It's pretty crazy. Yes, I will speak to Skink and Tree Shade, but you must also help me. Sanamu sent me here as a punishment. She asked me to calm an angry ancestor, but my charms will not calm him, and I'm not strong enough to fight. Find the spirit of Kanit Ashranamis and send it to its final rest. Okay. We can do that. We can handle that. My time is precious, so make it quick. All right, you there, spirit. Uh, he resisted ice. He does not resist fire, though. Ha ha. Um, there it is. Can't rest. Okay. Uh, let me put on Night Eye. That is crazy stuff, DJ. I hope that's not at your resort. I was actually working. I was working up in Jersey. Spearbook. Or, yeah, Spearbook. Okay. In Instagram, they say the Brits do that because they have never seen a balcony before. Really? Interesting. And in Spain, we don't do the tea time. And we don't throw boiling water on our heads. <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty crazy to think about. When I was working in Jersey the last summer, a freaking dude jumped off a balcony. When I was at, um... I was at work, we came back, and there were all these freaking cop cars and stuff there. I was like, what the heck happened? 
was a guy freaking jumped off a balcony. I was like, wow, okay. Alright, uh, I'm hoping to peel this guy. That's ice. It's not what we wanted. Alright, he, uh, he a heavy hitter. Uh, I had it on deck. I need to remember to double click. Oh man, come on. I may need, I may need to do sanctuary and all that. Okay, what do we have? Definitely need to restore the magicka. Let's pop one more. Do I have health? I don't think I actually have health. Ouch. Alright, well, that worked at least. Come on. Come on. One more. Two more. One more, one more. Whew. Okay. I mean, if you want to do that, at least do it somewhere that you're not going to be seen. There could be kids there, yeah. At that point, I don't think someone's really thinking about it, though. All right, hey, quest complete. <laughs> nice and easy. I mean, a little easy. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Uh, let me put Sanctuary on. And then Shield. Yay, thank you, DJ. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that and then walk in there and then get, like, two shot by a skeleton. Because <laughs> knowing my luck, that would happen. Alright, one more, one more. Oop. Knowing my luck, it would happen. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, we saved right there. <sighs> Dang it. I thought we had it, man. I thought we had it first go. Okay, and... <laughs> And then we kill him first try. All right. Hardcore game, man. Dude, it is. It certainly is. Marwin pulls no punches. Oh, lock level 10. Uh, I think we have open. Yeah, there we go. Not very good loot, I must say, though. Take the gold. It's a bone meal. Dude, old old school video games. They do not mess around. Ooh, some freaking sweet items, though. Right there. I'll take that. Ghoul heart. Eh, ah, lichen. I'll give or take that. I don't have enough magic. I can probably rest now, yeah. I'm just gonna rest, open it up. Made it tough for people. You know why originally, and this is what I've, I, I've seen some interviews with like old, old school video game people. Made for tough people by tough people, yeah. <laughs> but the reason, according to actual developers, or maybe not all of them, but the one that I happened to see in the interview that I watched was because they had, you know, they were using cartridges and they had really old computers and they didn't have a lot of storage space. So to make a game that someone would play for 20 hours, instead of making 20 hours of content, they'd make five hours of content and then just make it super hard so that people would play it for 20 hours. <laughs> Like, they, old games were that hard because if they were easy, you know, they'd be done like that. All right, ask your question. I want to arrange a meeting. The spirit of Kanit is resting. I have more duties here to prevent Kanit's spirit from returning. Speak once more with wise woman Sanamu Mirpal. 
Tell her that Kanit is at rest. Perhaps she will allow me to go. Okay. Make it quick, Outlander. Save. It makes sense. Yeah, I remember, like, when I heard that, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's all clear now. Was it this Make dungeon? It quick, I I'm just going to check one last thing in here. It may not have been this dungeon. In, in another dungeon, there was a side chamber. Okay, yeah, it's not this one. There was a side chamber with a hunger in it. Make it quick, and he, he had a, a Daedric spear or something. But it was not this one. Oh, okay. Hello, rat. I hate it when I miss the rat. I'm like, come on. <laughs> it's like it's a rat. Give it to me. All right, let me save again. And then we will try and recall. There we go. And now we're right next to the town. Whew. Okay, getting mark and recall. That will help us immensely with all the walking. I wish I would have just marked in the city, though. We're close enough. We're close enough. See, you can fast travel in this game. They just make it very hard to. I want to live on. Alright, scooting on down here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do in this part of the map while I'm up here. I don't think so. And look at this beautiful building, though. <laughs> Wild looking architecture. I wonder if I can find a trader here. Be a little different. What? You violated the law. Since so you turned yourself in, I'll take it into consideration, pay 18 gold, and surrender your stolen goods. When did I break the law? <laughs> okay, I'll just pay the gold, I guess. Whatever it is, I'm not interested. God, I must be really tired. I don't even remember breaking the law. <laughs> okay. All right, back to uh, back to the boat. Onwards. Onwards and upwards. There it is. Now if only you could do multiple marks. <laughs> See what I should have done before I started that quest was mark right here. And then I would have just teleported straight back. But nobody's perfect. Back to Sadrith Mora. And then back to the Mages Guild. So, a uh, slow night at work, DJ? Oop, this is a massive place. Alright, let's dump some of our stuff, yeah. You're not the type I like to deal with. All right, she doesn't like high elves. <laughs> yes, very quiet. Well, could be worse, I guess. I, w I was streaming the other day, and there was actually another... Um, 
I think I was streaming like earlier, or no, it was it was one of the days where you weren't working, and uh, I ran into another hotel manager. <laughs> a good job. The thanks to you guys goes a little faster. Hey, anything we can do to help, man? But I, I ran into another overnight hotel guy. I was like, do I I have a type, I guess? <laughs> I was like, you need to talk to DJ. I was like, you need to come back to stream when DJ's here. And <laughs> he can talk about all the crazy customers you have. <laughs> Alright, uh Wolverine Hall. Or no, I just came through that door. Wait, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Mage's Guild. Alright, nice. Well, Skink in Tree. Sure, man. Hope we meet at some point. I know, I, I can't remember his name. I think he did follow me, though. Um, duties. You may be able to assist me, Larry. Yes, I did arrange the meeting. Oh, I didn't speak. Alright. I spoke to the person from the actual meeting. I didn't speak to her freaking... Her, like, uh... Master or whatever. Alright. Good thing I marked. <laughs> Alright, we can go back to the camp now. God, that was my bad. I spoke to the other lady and then I forgot I had to go back and talk to her leader. I guess. What are you going to do, though? Check in time. BRB. All right. Hopefully, hopefully they're not drunk or angry or... <laughs> oh, there's another Dwemer Ruin over there. I don't remember that. Oh, hello, friend. Firebite. Goodbye. Take that. Keep moving. It's rust until healed. That must be a Kwama, so. Don't think it's trying to hurt me at the moment. Oh, that Guar is. Destruction to 54, though. Hey. Oh, please. Oh, it, he may be resisting it, so let's try ice. Is he resistant to magic? I mean, we're casting it. Alright. Hearth heal? Failed to cast. That one worked. Alright, let's try for the bound dagger approach. Uh, not what I wanted. <laughs> I kept pulling up my... Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> work, work. One more, one more, one more. Two more. There we go. When all else fails, just summon a Daedric weapon. And that'll do it. Put the boots back on. Get our magicka back. Oh, one of these guys again? Come on. Alright, well, we know we know the remedy now. We have to stand and fight. <laughs> Two. One more, one more. There we go. Take all. What? Who? Where? Oh, rat. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. 
A little bit of drama out there. A little bit of drama. Could be much worse. Alright, it's low fatigue. Tough life. Well, I'm glad we didn't re-move uh, our mark yet. So we didn't have to go too terribly far to get back to this camp. I mean, it's not the best turn of events, but... Drove seven hours, I apologize. <laughs> Hello, you. I would listen out there, but make it I'm still looking for your guar hides, buddy. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. And there's the camp, and there's the hut. Oh, Nick's Hound. Alright. Hello. Uh, Frostbite. One more. There it is. Easy money. And then we hop to camp. Always an exciting time here in Marwin. <laughs> I will listen out Sin, hello, hello. Excuse me, I have to speak to the wise woman. <laughs> I heard those wind chimes. I thought it sounded like a phone. All right, arrange a meeting. I know the spirit of Kanat Ashnur Mayas is at rest. Before I send my apprentice to Skink, I will ask a question. Did you pacify the spirit, or did Minabi? Minabibi, I'm sorry. Hmm. Alright. I am benevolent. I'm a nice guy. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick up for Minabibi. She seemed like a good person. So be it. I will send my apprentice to talk with this skink, but I do so for the honor of the Ahim Musa. She will soon see the error of the foreigner's ways and return to us. She will make a fine wise woman when my duties are done. I hope she's capable of being the wise woman, <laughs> even though I just lied for her. I mean, I could do worse things, right? I'm sure she'll be a great wise woman. Um, now we can recall. Or do we check out the Dwemer Ruin? If the Dwemer Ruin is beside my recall point, maybe we just beeline it over there and do a little, a little exploration. No, that's Telmora. I think it's off here. Let me, let me check over this hill. Because if it's right here, it may be worse. May be worth the investigation. I can't remember if it was farther along or not. Yeah, it was right here. Okay. I think we. I think we explore. I think we check it out. That's my thought. Oh, we got some interesting people over here. Let's rest it up. Um. Yeah, we should be fine. Let, let's just see what they want. I know there's lots of rogues that live in this area, so. Oh, yep. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, please. Alright, yeah. We, we, there are mages. We're going to have to do it. Okay, what do we lead with? Uh, let's try Frostbite. Actually, we should probably summon our Bonewalker. Never mind, we're just gonna fail. <laughs> I'm just going to reload. Quick save. Sorry, I had to go ride my bike for a minute. All this talk of doing shit was making me antsy. <laughs> well, welcome back, man. I hope you had a good, good bike ride. Get it out of your system. At least until tomorrow, right? Okay, yeah, we're just done. We're, we're gonna have to go around. I don't, I don't have enough spell absorption yet. Just high elf problems. 
I, I mean, I could summon my Bone Walker, but our Conjuration isn't really high enough to guarantee it. So I think I think we just go around. Goodbye, rat. So did you go out and go for a bike ride, or do you have a stationary bike at home? Because if you just saddled up and went, man, that's that's pretty impressive. Oh god, we're getting we're getting mobbed. Oh no. This is going poorly. Alright, uh, let's grab a heal. And sanctuary. And then let's just try this. Failed at casting. I'm actually gonna try frostbite on her. She may have resistance to fire. Yeah, okay, that worked a little better. Ah, we're just gonna get slammed. Dang. Okay, okay. Dude, mages, mages take high elves for a ride because they have so little uh, magic resistance. I'm trying to see if I have any any get out of jail free cards. All right, there we go. <laughs> I was strutting catharsis around in the parking lot and through the landscaping doing wheelies and whatnot. Hey, there you go. That's pretty cool, man. That's still such a badass name. All right. Uh. Oh, she. Okay, it's like half working. Did I buy the invisibility? Uh. Levitate. Could just fly away. <laughs> just just troll her. Alright. We're just running. Or or actually, since the other thing isn't on us right now. There is no Maybe we can backpedal and fight it out? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got it. One more, one more. Yes. There we go. Kite and shield. Common, common. Yeah, 12 and 19. Not a very good ratio. Catharsis doesn't play around. 2017 Scott Genius. Pleth. Other custom tidbits. Ooh, like what? I'm intrigued now. Intrigued what other uh, what other add-ons you got. Alright, do we try and fight the other mage? Let, let me quick save and cast all of our defense spells and then let's see if we can uh, make an impact. <laughs> and if not, I'll just reload the quick save and then go to the ruins. Don't kill me, don't kill me. All right. Okay, yep. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> well, I got her partner at least. I got I'm one for two. I'm one for two. What other add-ons do you have on um on your bike? Don't cry. All right, we're just going to walk towards the ruins now. <laughs> Dang, she one-shot us. Whew. High elf problems. Oh, hello there. One more. One more, please. There we go. Better better pedals, carbon bars, full Dirox XT, dropper posts. Nice. What's uh the Dira or the Dior XT? I'm sorry, I read that wrong. What's the Dior XT? I'm not sure I know what that is. Do the night eye again. Grab another rest. 
Oh, hello, friend. Oh, is he resistant? He is not. <laughs> By the way, we're just exploring right now. Oh, we had to double... Double sleep interruption. Take all, thank you. Well, the good thing is we haven't crashed in a while, which is nice. What do we have? Yeah, weakness to... Yeah, okay. That's just our ambient weakness to literally everything that's not physical damage. <laughs> All right, well, good thing I saved. <laughs> Didn't expect him to aggro us that immediately. I'll just throw the shield on, though. That was that was a bold move on my part. There we go, shield. Sanctuary. Frostbite. T-Mac pedals are the shit, by the way. It's like clipless, except they're flats. Hey, there you go. Shinamo DRXT, most people ride 1 by 11. I ride 2 by 11. It's got advantages. So, is DRXT, is that like the gears or something? I'm just uh, not that familiar with bikes to remember off the top of my head. Oh, come on. I didn't think we'd have to. Uh, no. I didn't think we'd have to pour all this magicka into this little, little fight. <laughs> Alright, do we have enough for a frostbite now? Okay. Dang, why is this? This is harder than every other one of these we fought all game. Maybe it's because we just leveled up. Alright, I'm going to lead with Sanctuary instead of wasting my time. There we go, that'll... That's the trick right there. I was taking too much abuse before I tried to cast it. <laughs> Just trying to be conservative. Oh, he's going he's going through our sanctuary. Maybe I'd bone walker. Alright, let's bone walker, I guess. Alright, Magicka Potions. That's health. Are we out of Magicka? Ah, here we go. I'll probably need one more. Oh, we failed again. Whew, guys, we are having some terrible luck right now. Oh, okay, thank the Lord. Yeah, attack him. <laughs> oh my gosh, he didn't even aggro that guy. Ooh. All right, quick save, load. <laughs> I have too many toys. I swear to you, man, you can never have enough toys. What are you talking about? That's the fun part. All right, let's uh, actually lead with Bonewalker. Or hide. Actually, let's try and maybe just sneak around it. Do you think we can pull it off? I don't know. It's going better than before. <laughs> we'll try and be non-combative. <sighs> Sweet! <laughs> God, that was so much easier. Why didn't we do that the first time? <laughs> All right, let me throw on Night Eye. Help, help you see. God, that was so much simpler. I was trying to bash my face against him. They may be immune to frost. Okay, no, they're not sweet. Goodbye. Right. Oh, another one. 
All right, so so you have the mountain bike. You have the fully upgraded a mountain bike. What's what's your next toy? Don't cry. Cuz I mean, you got to be thinking about your next one. Uh, let me put Night Eye back on. I know it is hard to see on stream without Night Eye. Chronicles of Nuke Lift. When your apartment is basically a giant garage, you have too many toys. <laughs> Three bikes in my bedroom. Hey man, if that's if that's what makes you happy, you know, get ten bikes. Ooh, three diamonds. Nice. The apartment is your home. You want to be surrounded by the things you love. Ash salts. I'll take that too. Alright, alright. Enemies nearby. We would love to rest, though. That's the that's the only thing. Okay, let me pop a magical potion before we get down here. I'll actually do two. Just to be safe. And I'm going to go ahead and get my sanctuary on. Another bike. Another bike. <laughs> a gravel bike. But other than that, I'm pretty set up. What the heck is this? It's like a... What? It's like a Dwimmer ghost. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah, Dwarven Inspector. That was cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Take the ebony. Oh, we're over encumbered. Yeah, that thing weighs like 10 pounds. Drop the spear. Alright, so gravel bike versus a normal... Uh, or gravel bike versus mountain bike. What's the difference? I, I figured a mountain bike would, you know, work well in gravel. I mean, it's supposed to work on trails, right? Still enemies nearby. Um, let's get some fire on. Ooh, more. They, okay, there is loot for days here. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's kind of in between road and mountain. Very, very light trails. Okay. Alright. Die. So what's the, what's the favorite trail you've ever done? Trail, mountain, any of the above. Uh, let's do Night Eye again. Lock level 2. Well, we are of course going to overkill it with the spell. Oh, we're covered again. 8 for 300. What do we sacrifice? Silver Dagger. I'm sure we have something random. What's that? 10 for... Okay, that's 20. Probably Kite and Shield. That's probably the lowest. If I had to think about my favorite... Ooh, what would I pick? Oh my gosh, we are just getting so much loot. Well, I need to drop that metal. I've just had some pa am oli. Pa am oli? What's that? I'm not familiar with that DJ. Pa am oli. Alright, what did I grab? Yeah, I grabbed scrap metal. Where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, favorite trail. My f favorite trail. There was one in Norway that was absolutely incredible. And it was by these, it went up this waterfall. And you get to the top of this waterfall, and there's just this freaking flock of sheep up there. Or, flock? <laughs> Maybe isn't the right word. But you look out over this town called Flom, and it was just the most breathtaking view. I've never seen anything like it. That was probably my favorite, favorite trail. Pie moly. <laughs> Bread and oil, literal translation. Okay. 
you learnt me a thing. Well, we actually finally went back and, and got the, uh, <laughs> got, got the quest update, thankfully. And we just cleared out a Dwimmer Ruin. Because what else are you going to do, right? Alright, that should be it. I think we're good. I think we're good to rock. See if there's another door around here. There's a trail out here called Phillips Riz that's 4,000 feet of climbing and descending. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's our friend. I forgot he was right outside. Uh. Okay, where? Hide. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Google Jackson, Wyoming. You'll see. You'll see, dude. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll look it up. I'll have to I'll have to remember that Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. I'll I'll try and get to it after stream. I w I'll be on tomorrow and update you. <laughs> All right, let's recall to our mark. One more time. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now back to Sadrith Mora. I got I got sidetracked in that Dwemer dungeon, but you know what's life without a little exploration, right? Oh, we got two rats. It's game on, baby. <laughs> two. There we go. Catch you later. Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. I gotta remember. Let me see what time it is. Alright, it's 11.30 here. Local time. I'll probably end stream. I'm pretty tired today. Because of all this, all the driving. I'll probably end stream here in like 15 minutes or so. Just a, just a heads up. That 7 hour drive and a day of only drinking yesterday has started to wear on me. It's the most common meal, and Mallorca is not simply that. It's a slice of French-style bread, hey now, with salt, tomato, and oil. Then you place on top whatever you want. Ham, cheese, omelet, grilled meat, tuna. Oof, those all sound great. Anything, really. It's some kind of social meal. Heck yeah, man. I gotta get me some Pam. Some pa am oli. Pa am oli. Dude, every time we speak, I just want to go to Spain now. <laughs> I need to do it. I need to do it. Alright, this lady will take us back to Sadri tomorrow so we can turn the quest in. My time is precious, so Those Dwemers are way out. Dude, they do. <laughs> you know, no, what wore me out, freaking don't cry, was that stupid, uh, I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but the, the thing with the tusks right outside. I, I I bashed my head into that what three three times four times, and then finally just remembered I had uh, invisibility. Thankfully, thankfully, invisibility is a little bit OP in Morrowind because I mean if you would have done that in Skyrim, I mean they just keep attacking you if you were right in front of them. And in this game, it's like you literally just freaking disappear. <laughs> All right, Bata. I keep forgetting she hates us. I'm, I'm gonna go to the marketplace, uh, which is right over here, under the mushroom. If you come to Majorca, man, you'll get to try this stuff. Well, with Mallorcan bread and Mallorcan tomatoes, ooh. I, I, I believe you. I believe it doesn't make a difference. There's nothing like trying some from where it came from. It's like Guinness. Like, I, I was at an Irish pub drinking Guinness. And the guy who was serving me the Guinness, you know, I was like, this is amazing. And he's like, no, you need to try it in Ireland. He's like, Guinness doesn't travel well. I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't travel well? Like, this beer is great. He's like, nope, you need to be in Ireland to actually taste real Guinness. I was like, okay. 
So I guess I'm going to Ireland and Spain now. <laughs> Alright, guar hide. Uh, meat. I mean, we're just going to sell all of this. Diamonds. Let's hold on to those. I'm sorry, just hit my mic. Well, we can sell it. We'll, let's sell a couple. I do want to get into alchemy eventually. Not, not quite yet. My money is better spent on other things. Yeah, she doesn't buy that. But the spark arrows doesn't buy that either. Come on. All right. We'll upcharge her a little bit. There we go. Some food out there depends on the climate itself. True. I guess it's like wine. That went very poorly. Even more poorly. <laughs> okay. One more time? No. All right. Well, I don't have enough gold to bribe him. <laughs> so maybe this is a trade or two. Nah, it's just a pub. Let's try this guy in the end. I wanna I wanna dump some of this. Okay, this'll do, this'll do. Not that one. But anyways, it was like uh it's like French wine, you know, or Italian wine. You know, people say to get the real taste you gotta go to Italy and you gotta try it at, you know, at the vine the winery itself to get the full experience. Also, don't cry. You got me like super motivated now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run tomorrow. <laughs> it's it is decided. <laughs> it has been spoken. See, I said it. So if I come back and you come back to stream in the next couple days, you can uh, you can call me on it. You've been to Mallorca. Wow. Small world, man. That's pretty cool. God, I'm the only guy in chat right now who hasn't been to Mallorca. Why am I so lame? All over Spain, France, and Italy too. Okay, so you know the true Italian wine then. Don't have to don't have to tell don't cry twice. Back on in, back on in. Up, 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 so Mallorca is kind of like what we would call like or consider a state here cuz I mean it has a capital, right? Like a pro is it a province? How does the day Tiny, please, please, to feel you. free, talk at your leisure. What do we buy? Oh, he only sells books. We are not interested. No, thank you. All right, thank you, Larry. Minabibi already answered many of my questions. The the Balearic Islands is like a state. Mallorca is one of the four. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know. I do enjoy learning new things. The Balearica Islands. The Balearica Islands. When any mage turns to necromancy, it casts a pale shadow over the whole guild. The necromancer is Tellera Olvera, a former Mages Guild member. She may be found in Shal. Found in Shal. Go to Hala Awad and head north. When you cross the wooden bridge, stay left along the coast till you come to another bridge. That island is Shal. The door faces the swamp north of a Daedric ruin. Hala well, hello there. Awad. To meet you. Where is Hala Awad? <laughs> Uh, 
Resting here is illegal. Ah, we'll be fine for an hour. I think Halat Wad is a coastal city. So let me try. Try to boat. Actually, let me check my map before I commit. Sedrith, Spas, Narmak, Caldera. I want to say Halawad's like somewhere over here. Or over here. Let me check that one second before I walk out. Yeah, okay, it's on the other side of the continent. So I should probably actually go to a different mage's guild and then catch a boat. Um, we don't have enough gold to train really right now, so. Where should we go? Probably Ebenhart. What's the quickest way to Ebenhart? Maybe Aldrune? Or no, we probably need a silt stride to where we can get a boat. So maybe call. Man, so much of Morrowind is geography. <laughs> it's hard when you haven't found a location yet. You gotta remember them all. Let's see if we if we just need any spells. Absorb personality, absorb agility. Blind. That may help us reflect 10%. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to put myself in a, in a rough situation by spending too much gold right here. Oh. Good old Morrowind. <laughs> Alright, I missed that whole Mediterranean area. It's amazing. Even the smallest things like a single olive or a piece of fruit is the most amazing you've ever had. So Mediterranean food lives up then, don't cry. It's not it's not overhyped. All right. Well, we were <laughs> we were right here when we crashed. So good. Thank you auto saves. Thank you quick saves. Aldrin It always this game always crashes outside like when when you're crossing into other buildings. I've always noticed that. How may I help you? It's kind of odd, you know. It's like it's a uh, Marwin's a little little quirk. Well, excuse me, sir. Dude, no one likes high elves. <laughs> Come on, this isn't Skyrim. <laughs> I'm not Thalmor. <laughs> Cut me a break, guys. How long has it been since you were in the Mediterranean, don't cry? Ooh, I think we can get there from Cull. I think we can get there. Same low price. Same low price. Alright, boat is over here off to the right. A storm are brewing. And then we gotta go up the coast to find the little dungeon, but it's not—it's not too far of a—it's not too far of a journey. Just need to set the mark in town for when we finish it. Oop! Excuse me. All right, madam, take us to Halawad. Or don't. <laughs> Let's go to Narmak and then maybe. Get there from. All right, let's turn around and see if this person will do it. There we go. It's been about ten years now. All I've done is train and watch the world change around me. Well, seems like you are changing with it, my friend, but just getting stronger. That is the beauty of the training. Conquer more obstacles. Suffering leads to greatness. All right, we head north. Let me double check myself. Skink asked me to kill the necromancer. Inshal, north from Halawad, cross a bridge, follow the coast west. All right. 
Oh my. Okay, some history discoveries for you. I do like history. Let me let me find the road before I turn and read all that though, DJ. I think I can set to auto walk. Alright. Uh when Rome was all over Europe, they couldn't conquer the Balrecs for a long while. We had expert slingshotters, really. The Spanish slingshotters. Uh, let me put on night eye. I see my screen's a little dark. Help y'all out. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and let me save. I think this guy attacks us, if I remember correctly. He may not. You may have to talk to him. Okay, cool. Uh, they kept throwing stones at Roman ships and made them sank so they couldn't reach the island. Eventually, the Romans had to cover the ships with leather so the stones bounced off and they managed to reach the island, but the Romans didn't kill them. They hired them as an elite squad of a hundred Malorcans that were more effective than the Romans. That is really cool, dude. Wow. Alright, I think... Oh, there's the Dajic ruins. Cross a bridge, fall the coast west. Dude, DJ, you are from a long line of warriors. <laughs> Let me get check my local map and make sure I didn't go too far. Okay, I crossed the bridge. I, I just got to keep going west, I guess. That is good history. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little tidbit. All right. Once I find the dungeon, I'll probably, um, I'll probably end stream there for today, just because I'm tired, got to recover. But I'll, I will definitely be on tomorrow. I'm not sure when though. I'll probably be on in the. I'll probably get on during the day and then maybe again at night. All right. If I remember correctly, it should be up here. If I remember correctly, caveat. <laughs> and if I don't, <laughs> that's always the hard part. I may have gone too far, maybe near those ruins. All right, bring it on next time. Oh, oh, one more, one more. Oh, please. There we go, one more. Be a good boy and lay down. <laughs> okay. Come on. Holy shit. I know my granddad wanted me to learn the old way. That consists in placing your breakfast on top of a tree... And you could only get it down with a stone hit. If there was no success, no breakfast. That's actually really cool. That's cool. That's like the remnant of like a bygone world, man. I, I don't think this is the place. It may be, though. We'll, we'll go ahead and check it out. That's really cool. That's like... Uh, like training you, you know, a samurai, you know, training his son to follow in his footsteps. That's pretty cool. All right, what do we have here? This is Hlormarin. That is the most awesome thing I've heard in a long, long time. Dude, I agree. That is super cool. Like, actually, very cool. DJ, you... <laughs> God, I, you need to be a slingshot warrior now, man. Alright, we may have gone too far. I'm gonna... Go a little bit further down, but if it's not there, eh. If it's not there, we'll pick it up tomorrow. 
There's always tomorrow. I don't think it was over there. Follow the coast west. I think it was on these little islands that I walked by. The best of all is if you guys ever visit Mallorca, you can see the ruins of this civilization all over the island, but it's not used in the tourism industry for some reason. Yeah, that is kind of odd. I wonder why. Is the old slingshot the ones you have to spin around? Yeah. Like, like a spin around instead of, you know, like backdoor recess pea flicker, <laughs> pea shooter. All right, I think it's over here, if I remember correctly. I think I just walked by it earlier. Yes, those, ooh. DJ and Goliath. <laughs> He's swinging stones at him. That's pretty neat, man. Alright, where are you hiding, dungeon? Is it up here? No? Uh, I may I may just be going too far, I think. Or oh, that's it. No, okay, it's hidden. Here it is. Okay. Whew. They wore no armor. They are normally represented in leather underwear. Dude, Rambo. <laughs> Rambo style. That's that's sick, man. All right, guys. I said I'd do it. I'm tired. I did a lot of driving today. I think I'm going to end stream here, and I'll, I will be picking up at Shawl tomorrow. I may stream Skyrim a little bit tomorrow. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to burn people out on Morrowind. Oh, sorry. Hit it again. <laughs> Anyways, oh, here we go. They were low-maintenance soldiers. They only ate almonds and sugar. <laughs> Dang, they're like long-distance runners. <laughs> Slapping sugar down their throats. All right, yeah. Thank you all for stopping by. It was an absolute pleasure. Um, be sure to follow or turn on notifications for when I come on. I will be on tomorrow during the day. I'll probably play Morrowind during the day, and then I may get on Skyrim at night. Uh, have a great day, or, or have a great night in Spain, DJ. And don't cry. Uh, don't don't kill yourself too hard on those bikes, man. <laughs> Suffering leads to greatness, though. So, just do do just enough. Hey, great time tonight. It's always a great time, DJ. All right, uh, I saved. Right, I don't want to. I don't want to lose uh, any any progress. All right. Anyways, oh yeah. If any anyone just joined the stream, we got a Discord below where we throw in music suggestions continue the conversations there share some memes uh click follow for when i'm on and thank you all so much for stopping by i'll catch y'all later have a great night <laughs>